them to make the choice, then you call them idiots and tell them what the better choice was. Are you ready for the uh, lizard brain detective? What? Just a different lizard brain detective. We have a detective? That's basically what we're doing. We're trying to figure out, you know, what went wrong. Uh, all oh, right. This. Yep. So you should probably pick the back up on that. Or not. <laughs> or not. We're just gonna give up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Fuck everything about this place. Let's move on. Can't solve everyone's problems. Yep. You sound like we've solved anyone's problems. <laughs> yeah, you know, this seems like dead end. We have to uh, solve <laughs> our own problems. That Pekka, who cares? I mean, I'm sure it's fine, right? You know, we we solved the problem of that baby being alive. So that's at least one. You don't remember that? That was a no. long time ago. The the, the one fucking where I got knocked out. yeah the 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 old man with the baby was oh, like. Okay. Yeah. I I didn't think it was a baby. I didn't remember it being a baby. Also, the way you said it made made you think made me uh, think that we just straight up killed a baby. <laughs> what the fuck! That missed a session. Just no one told me. Or... <laughs> Who the fuck we killed a baby? It's actually what happened when uh, you know one of your arrows uh, missed. We just never told you. Yeah, oh, oh, well. He I never know, misses. I no, I miss. I miss plenty. <laughs> I miss more than I like to miss. He never misses the like world to target. He might not hit what he's aiming at. <laughs> yeah, typically I either hit what I'm aiming at or the area near it. I don't oh, think I've man. shot any friends yet, though. So that's nice. Not accidentally, at least. <clears throat> so. We ended with Falcon going off to go try and catch up to Jibin. Rally trying to figure out where that lightning bolt came from. And you guys being stuck with a strange wooden man <laughs> who seems very confused I'm about everything going boy. on. It's a golem of some sort. Probably no, a golem he is, with a human soul. He, a golem? He definitely knows he's not a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can confirm with the flickering, he is not a real boy. <laughs> he's not sure what he is, but he's pretty damn sure he's not a real boy. Can't okay. can confirm. Somewhere between and in between. He he is simultaneously a real boy and not a real boy. Yep. Schrodinger's boy. <laughs> hey, no, it's a boy. Schrodinger. <laughs> so... Let's pick up there with what are you guys going to do now that things have calmed down a little bit? Oh, I got some fuckers to track down and die to. Well, I'm going to head back into the uh, shop and go look up all the gnome. Wasn't there, wasn't there some mention of a, some kind of artifact somewhere along the way? We... I swear we heard. We we haven't heard that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that I, was uh, Jason. We, we still yeah. need to go outside. We still need to go outside at some point and use the thing to figure out whether we have to start heading towards Z Zior or Kane. Okay. Or if it's in Ehrenberg. Because we don't fucking know. Because I we also, haven't done it yet, despite being in town really, for like two days. Really hope that Falcon or Chase wrote down the information because I didn't write shit down. What information? Like how much about the key that we learned about? It was in Zior. It was heard about a few weeks ago. That's it. Everything. Everything else was too vague to be useful. That's literally all I needed. Thank you. I'm glad you you wrote that down. Oh, I I didn't. I just I have a memory. Yeah. Oh goddamn. Even I could tell you that memory. I can still remember that. No, I do what? How y'all have way too good of a memory. I don't fucking remember well, I that. I have the backup of I know where that piece of the key is, so... Well, okay, that's fair. <laughs> it's, currently, DM, so it count. it's currently in this fucking <laughs> rope. Wait a minute. <laughs> right, well, I'm gonna go silent. <laughs> <so I'm> like... <laughs> yep. 
You see, my memory is like an iron box. <laughs> it's rusted, and it's like at the bottom of a lake, and it has like fish swimming in and out of it. But it's iron. <laughs> anyway. I remember Kath. Now you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you guys doing, seeing as you're, the combat has been over for like a few moments now? And the strange golem person doesn't seem to be interested in doing anything other than standing in the middle of the street being a very obvious wooden golem person. So, well, I'm heading back to the shop and checking up on the gnome. All right. Uh, the gnome is not entirely cowering anymore, but he's still kind of shaken after a small battle and two bodies now have appeared in the shop. Oh, yeah. I think we should leave before, like, guards show up. Because <laughs> we are the cause of two dead bodies. And one... Oh, look, we have a witness. Cleared. It's obvious that they attack first. It's true. Yeah, but I want to go to a police station. <laughs> oh, look, we can talk about that later. But, uh, hey, are you, uh, alright? He just kind of shakily nods. Still, the, uh, the bird that he was petting, like, just on the counter when you were having the conversation, like, firmly clutched in his hand. If it was a real bird, you're pretty sure that he would have crushed something. But, you know, seeing as it's made of copper, it's just kind of... Oh, it's like that one rat that I once had. <laughs> yeah, except it's made that of That one that metal. you killed? So, it's a little sturdier than that. I I, I, I think so? What? What? But the, the, he just kind of looks down, like, looks at the bodies, looks back at you, just kind of vaguely looks outside, trying to, at least in as far as you can tell trying to reconcile what the hell is going on. Oh, well, I was going to ask you if you knew what's going on. Also, technically, we attacked first because I stabbed that thing. But they did say kill that person, so... Well... What do you know about fixing golems? They, I think... I think they attacked first because they saw Amelia. They're like, nope, kill him. Well, they right? said kill them, and then I stabbed the golem when I heard kill <laughs> Well, okay. All right. The first aggressive move, though. Yeah, they did, but I attacked first. Swing first. Uh, the gnome, like, kind of looks at you, but doesn't, like, just kind of continues sputtering. Maybe we'll come back later, then. Probably not a terrible idea. And that that at least seems to jog his, jog a little bit of his consciousness back out to the fore, and he just kind of like waves at you and just walks into the back with mutterings of, "Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I need some tea or something," and then just walks into the the back of the shop. Wait, yeah, before we go, he's he's just gonna keep walking. Jackass. Wait, okay, no. Yeah. As he steps through the back door and it swings closed, uh, I think, yeah, he had, he had a door. I was trying to remember because some shops have a door and some don't. All of the rest of the automatons, especially the ones that are, you know, holders for, like, items, all have their legs pop out and attempt to start moving both the bodies and you guys out of the shop. They're not very effective, but they're at least pushing. I mean, I'll I'm I'll do so. With uh, yeah, out in the street, poking and prodding at Golem Boy, <laughs> trying to figure out what the fuck he is. Yep, he's just kind of standing there, just staring off down the street. And mm. it's it's kind of disconcerting, seeing as like ninety nine percent of him is, is like wooden mannequin doll, you know, one that seemed to be made for like a half giant, but. His face is like perfectly humanoid, like it can move, blinks, it like he seems so, to be breathing. Like so much of me wants really to just try and pretty much just pry, try to pry open the uh, mannequin exterior. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna break something if I do. Hmm. Yeah, what? and the mannequin exterior, like 
as far as you can tell, has no no dents. Like even where you stuck your sword, or like a few moments ago, there's no hole there. There was no there's n- like nothing that would tell you moments ago this thing was in a battle. Which looks like it just walked out of its shop like moments ago, just built. It might be self repairing then, because it said it couldn't repair itself. However, if that's fixing itself after being damaged, then it could be two things shoved into one. Hmm. Hmm. I'll figure this out later. I'm gonna go try and track down those fucks that tried to kill us. <laughs> All right. Well, well uh, Amelia. Hmm? I was gonna ask Amelia what they want with you, because they seem to try to, you know, take you. At least the golem. I think they want it to be assholes. Fair. All right, I'm going to try to track it down. This is good we're going to get. Because I have a feeling they, they're not really connected with all of this. I, I don't know. Call it a hunch. Seeing as Amelia, I don't think you're from here. Actually, I know that you're not from here. <laughs> I don't think we're from here. Earlier in the campaign, hey, this is where I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right. I'm assuming survival to try and track them down. Yep. All right. I'm yeah, they left. The dog helped me. Yeah, they left an obvious, at least to you, obvious trail. All right. I'm going to start following it. Uh, all right. And... Is Amelia and uh, Drake coming along, or...? Uh, yeah. I hope so. Uh, okay, fine. I don't know why we're doing this. Because I have some questions that need answering. Like what? Mostly why. Oh, okay. Why are you trying to kill us? Who are they? I'll figure it we might. my... I mean, sure, that sounds okay, but do any of us have any reason? Because I, I haven't really screwed with anyone. Yes. I don't know about you guys. I do have a reason. To no, no, I mean, why they might me. attack us? Like, who would, who would be pissed off at us? I, I think it's. Tried to attack her, which I think it's me specifically. Well, yeah, but I'm associated with you, so they're attacking me I by know. proxy. I got well, to teach you not to. Who did you piss off? I don't know. You piss off? I'm guessing Fucking... you guys are having the conversation as you're walking. Yeah. Yeah. And it seems like after, like, once you guys start walking away, the weird golem thing just kind of, like, immediately looks at Amelia and then just starts following after her. Great, now you have a pet golem. <laughs> you know any golem repair men? Are you directing it at the golem? I'm I'm directing that at uh Nor. <laughs> Do I? What the fuck <laughs> Seeing as you don't really like uh magic, Nor, I'm gonna guess that you've made steps to stay away from golem repairmen. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering <laughs> if I might have heard something. Or you know, like, oh, this is the uh whatever. <laughs> Um, you know that there are tinkerers that mess with golem-like beings. Some magically, not some non-magically, but this guy no, doesn't this, this look like... No, this thing's definitely magic. Yeah, this guy doesn't look like any like anything you'd think anyone who is tinkerer or related to Ehrenberg would deal in. This guy's some real fucking magic, too. Yeah. Especially the weird faith thing. <laughs> that you're pretty sure you've never seen before. Wait, what was it? what's the weird face thing? I've forgotten. He uh he's like all wood except for his face, which can uh like actually talk and appears to have normal eyes. So it's kind of like sticking a normal human he- uh face onto a mannequin's body. Oh, okay. Which is creepy <clears throat> as shit. Yep. <laughs> Well, I guess the best place to check would be like a uh, the tinkering guild. Seeing as people do uh, 
you know, mess with the golems. Some magical, some... I don't think you really care about them. Only the magic <laughs> ones. As usual. <laughs> I just realized, do you have a weapon, Drake? Nope. No, I don't. Can you use a sword? Um... Let me see if I remember. <laughs> My character sheet says... <laughs> I know, yes. I know, like, the ranged weapon. I had this little piece of paper that had all of what I was on it. <laughs> it's actually around the back of my hand. Um... <laughs> you hand him a sword, he grabs it by the blade. I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to be using it, but I think it is. I can use <laughs> simple take... weapons. Uh, I don't know if a short sword <laughs> no. is a simple uh, stick. weapon. There's... God actually... damn it. Wait, isn't there it? There are very few bladed weapons that are simple. I believe a dagger is the simple weapon, and maybe a sickle. Yeah. Yeah, no, you cannot use a short sword. Uh, you know what? I have a quarter staff. Take it. <laughs> it it's metal, and uh, it has a special effect. Wait, I'm not gonna say that. It's a metal. <laughs> it has a special. Never mind. It's special metal, and it's engraved. Yep. It's all you need to know. Thankfully, it's engraved in something that he can't read, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, so you. I'm going to want that the... back later. By the way, I'm just giving it to you to <laughs> use, so you aren't completely useless. Yep. So you follow the follow the trail towards, like back towards the main drag, since his shop, of course, was a little off of the kind of main T of the street, like the main streets that exist here in Ehrenberg. Wait, no, I can use more. Uh. Why don't you just have simple? I don't know. You forgot to change it. But regardless. If you can use Marshall, then here are two short swords off that dead guy. These you can keep. I don't give a fuck about these. <laughs> <laughs> Try and emulate Rally for a little bit. <laughs> Brain hurty. Yeah, you're on your way. Yep. Some up and his intelligence drops by like 10. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, didn't mean to be mean. Intelligence drops by 10 because Ryan has like 6 intelligence. Hey, I have. Hold on. I could have like 11. I, I have 10 intelligence. intelligence. Yeah, then I yeah, it drops yeah. by 10. Oh. I have 20. <laughs> so you wouldn't have. Wow! I, I have twenty strength. I'll just punch your brain. <laughs> It'll punch back. I don't know what this is about, but I'll win. I'm actually a psionic. <laughs> no, you aren't. No, that is. I'm actually a punch onyx. In Riley's defense, I also have ten intelligence. So I'm rocking twelve. Oh. So you guys make it back to the main street following the trail. It seems to lead back like further in the city rather than towards the, the outer gates. Yeah. But that's there are a lot more people are. here. And the massive wooden thing that's following you is drawing a lot of attention. So, what are our plan once we actually find these people? Kill them? Shrug? What if they have like a, a base with a lot of people. And more of these people. Then we leave and come back when we are ready to kill them. What if they don't let us do that? Well, they just get better at running. <laughs> we, why don't we just tell the guards? or Ask if they know anything. Wait, guards can actually do things? This is the north. This is... I mean, in uh, theory, there is a reason why the North is more, uh, you know... You know the, the, the guards did have a pretty terrible response time to uh, us doing that, though. <laughs> Given that we left, and no one still found us. Uh, I... Again, right now, I'm just very... I'm confused. 
Because originally, like, hey, like, what's? Do we have a plan? Do we ever? Sometimes we have somewhat of a plan. Are you sure? An outline. <laughs> Are you sure about that statement? I'll stick with an outline. Let's, uh, let's go to this place and possibly so, yeah, kill people who... We have an outline. I want to find out where these people went, and then I'll, we can come back later, or we can use it, that information to avoid them. That's the outline. So we have as much of a plan as we do in some of our best-case scenarios. I'm willing to take this. However, okay. I definitely shouldn't have you two with me, given that one of you is being fought around by a golem. Yeah, um... I, I don't know what you want to do with that, Amelia. Personally, I was thinking about, uh... seeing one of my... Well, not one of my contacts. That's a different character. <laughs> seeing my, uh... Or seeing if we get a audience with the cleric. The cleric? Yeah, the one in, uh... this area. Apparently, uh... He revived a, uh... Because no. you know his name. I know his name. His name is... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's more than one cleric? <laughs> his name is Cleric. No! Bad! Fuck that guy. He's an asshole. Do you want his name in Dwarven, or do you want his name in, in, in Common? Because she gave it... Alright. Or, or both. Yeah. I his name is Kilrud Armored Bush in Common. His name is Kilrud. His dwarven last name, Kilrud remains his first name. Armored Bush is what his last name translates into, but it's Tosi Drove Rule in right. Dwarven. You guys can follow up on that. I'll keep following up on this. Alrighty. Gonna get myself killed. <sighs> So, uh, Mitchell. Mm hmm. Uh, well, oh, manor, I guess. I don't know what they would have him. A keep, uh. He's a cleric. They'd keep him in, like, a temple of some sort. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. If it's, like, if they keep him, like, actually inside, like, the nobles' uh, palace or whatever they have, or if in it's in, most like, a. Cases, no. But in this particular case, seeing as they have the wizard there, then it's a pretty good chance that since the wizard is protecting the nobles there, that the cleric, who was basically expressly sent to do the same, would probably be in a similar location. Okay, let's head up to the, uh, to where the nobles live, if you want to join me. All right. Hmm? So the party is splitting further. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright. So, you guys make it back to Remain Street and start heading, like, basically towards the the center of the city where the nobles, like, little part of the city is. Their keep and walls. In the meantime, Falcon, what are you doing to go track down uh, the now like, chased off Jibbon? Magic's pretty frowned upon in this city, right? Mm, not especially. Only for Drake. Hmm. <laughs> it just stands out a little bit more. It's not like a magic city, I think. Yeah, it's not as common up here in the north, so there's just not as many users of it, so like people will notice it more, but it's not like they're going to run off and call the guards as far as you know. Witch! It's a witch! <laughs> Yeah, they'll probably not do that. <laughs> Fucking killer! Alright. Uh. In that case. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go into an alley real quick and I'm gonna cast fly on myself. Alright. I'm gonna fucking fly up into the air, get a bird's eye view. Oh god, it is yeah, a witch. That won't stand out. Yeah, I, I like how you <laughs> went into an alley so no one would see you. And then you fly straight into the air. And Mary fucking Poppins is really doing it over here. People don't always look up. Hey, yeah. it's a bird. Yeah, it's Falcon. 
Yeah. It's a bird. It's a nope. That's not a bird. That's some flying fucking bitch. Also, <laughs> it'll never hurt to slip into the alley. It's whatever. Yep. <laughs> Is you that... do vaguely hear like from below a couple of gasps and like some laughter from you'd guess probably children and other nearby people, but there's a couple like, of gasps. You don't hear right? other. You like you don't hear any like alarm. Other and, and there's a I, single, I, I don't what hear the any uh, fuck? guards fire. Yeah, no. <laughs> Kill that bitch. You also don't notice Jibin immediately. Mm. I know. I know vaguely what direction he went. Right. Yep. You were mm. to attempt to go in that direction. Yeah. All right, so you fly, fly off in that direction. Fly lasts for ten minutes, just for reference. Yep. Uh, do you want to roll perception for me, just to see if you can't notice him just while you're flying past or around that location? Well, he uses a help Randomly action. Randomly roll below. twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, uh, Falcon actually has two sets of eyes. Yeah, for one set of eyes and one set of. You forgot her bird third eyes. Eye. Yep. Yeah, too bad her third eye has a minus 10 because it's covered by hair. <laughs> you do notice a few carts, but none that, like, stick out as Jibbin's cart. Okay. You see a few carts, and you also think that's like a mouse down there, and you think, hey, that's weird. <laughs> hmm. Um. He's a he's a drow, right? Half drow, but yeah. Okay, I'll just go back to the ground. All right. And I'm going to ask some guards if they've seen anyone of his description. All right. Well, I mean, the people we're looking for? Do the you person? land, like, on the main street, or do you land in the kind of off of main street? I'd probably land somewhere off to the side, at least a little bit. All right. It does take you a few minutes to find literally any guards wandering around the, like, non-main area, which it seems like they've kind of wandered off Main Street for some reason. They seem to be kind of already investigating something. Uh, there's only, it's a pretty small squad. There's only, like, four of them, which seems rather small since most of the other ones have been, like, six plus. Uh, and... Pretty much all, like, the ones that are, like, not currently looking, looking into whatever they're looking at, which seems to be some sort of building that has the obvious scars of the fire. Go and tell you that, indeed, they have heard of Jibin. Mm -hmm. They haven't seen him recently, and if you have seen him recently, then they would love to freaking have a conversation with him. I'm trying. <laughs> You said the building they're looking at uh, looks like it's been burned, or? Yeah, it seems the structure itself is still, like, it's still upright, but it, the inside looks all black. Uh, what are you investigating here? Was this his doing? The guard you're talking to shakes his head. Nah, Jibben's a bad, a bad shop owner, but at least he does he isn't an arsonist. Well, what's this, then? This is most likely the act of some rebel who decided to burn down someone's house who didn't like their current goings-on. Hmm. Sounds like an asshole to me. Well, I suppose you could call it that. We like to call them criminals or rebels, but you could call them that, too. Synonymous. Is there anything else? He just kind of mm -hmm. looks back at the house. 
No, I don't believe so. All right. Stay safe. Yeah, you as well. Nods and then points at one of the other guys and then points at the door and the guard kind of rushes inside. Mm. How much of the actual city have I explored? Like, how much do I know about it? Mm, probably only, and it's like a very generous estimate, like 10%. How how big is it? Like relatively? Uh it holds I'm trying to remember what is the population here? Population of Ehrenberg. It's about half the region, so it's a good number. Seventeen thousand, so it's pretty big. Okay. Especially because most people live like that's in the city population, not like in the surrounding countryside. Mm-hmm. So there are a lot of residential homes. <laughs> Okay. Is the city split up into like actual proper districts or it kind of just flows between? It doesn't have like walls or anything that split districts. For the most part, they just, the kind of main separator is the main, that kind of main T road that separates kind of the two main guild areas. Okay. And of course, the homes in that kind of area of the city. And, of course, other shops, though most shops kind of line the main road. And then, of course, the nobles' little area at the top. Okay. Um, I'm just, I'm willing to spend the better part of a few hours kind of just walking around, going into some shady places, asking around about Jibin, see if I can get any information on not even just necessarily his whereabouts, but also just a little bit more about him. All right. Um, uh, let's say go ahead and roll a roll a pair, like roll two different not saves, charisma checks, though roll them with advantage because you're pretty good at this type of thing. Nice consistent yeah so it seems like jibben has been operating here in Ehrenberg for at least a couple years um if not longer he's not especially well known like as like you know people don't know a heck of a lot about him personally they know of him especially quite quite a few people in fact know of him okay um they know he like he's a, more of a prankster than like someone actually dangerous. Uh, he does seem to travel pretty often, though they're not sure exactly how he got here in the first place or when and how he kind of moves around. They do know that he's almost continuously in trouble with the guards and yet has, at least to anyone's memory, been caught. He has not been caught? Yep, the guards in all of the years that he's been here, as far as anyone in the underground is concerned, have never caught him. You must have something in that card of his. Mm. Oh yeah, people have all all manner of stories. They say it can teleport, it can turn invisible, it can freaking fly. There's even a few people who just straight up think that he's some sort of like drowned like royalty, and he's just coming up here to cause trouble. But it's mostly stories. <laughs> okay, I don't I don't get the sense that there's that much truth to them. Yeah, he he seems like a character that no one's really gotten a firm read on. You do find at least a few people that have also bought magical or you know items from him, and at least do say that if the, he claims that they are magical, they are indeed at least magical. How and why he knows this, and how and why they are you know power levels, that's kind of up for debate. But he's at least a semi-honest businessman when it comes to that. He said my mask wasn't magical, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So no one knows anything about his location? 
No. Okay. Like, even all the places that you walk into, like, you ask around at most of the you know, bars and other places along those lines. Yeah. And, like, not even one of them has ever seen him make patronage there. Sure, there, there are a few more in the city, but they're, at least as far as you can tell, he doesn't tend to frequent places that are easy to get caught. Not a, not a drinker. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So, Rowley, what are you doing to uh, get to that thing? Hmm. Uh, I'm just, uh... Are you, like, just kind of beelining towards the... Yeah. That location? I'm not, like, running like my life depends on it, but, you know, like a, a jog. I mean, more, more the... Like, are you running directly there as in, you know, a straight line as much as you can, or try yes. and make... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight line, through alleys, whatever. All right. Yeah. You sprint past a few, like, a few scenes of people doing things that they probably shouldn't be doing. But I don't care. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, at one Listen, point I, I do... ain't a guard. <laughs> yeah. At one point, uh, kind of as you're crossing the main street, you do walk past a, like, kind of a person who... It, like, he kind of carries himself like nobility, but he's dressed up in, like... A cloak and everything. His face is covered. He's kind of weird. Huh. But, yep. I'll take a mental note of that, but yeah, to the lightning. Yep. So you make it to a uh, shop that's currently closed from where you kind of estimate the lightning bolt to be. Mostly because <laughs> you see, like, a burn mark on the ground. <laughs> hmm. Raleigh pulls out his uh, Sherlock Holmes hat and uh, magnifying glass and inspects it. <laughs> so your fingers, seeing as a magnifying glass, is like a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, is the you shop do, open? Like, the eye got the uh, hand binoculars. Oh, freaking Copeland. Yeah, that sort of thing, I guess. <clears throat> is the shop open currently? Uh, the door is currently closed. Okay. And there's, uh, there's you know, a little thing over the door that seems to indicate that they are currently closed. All right, Standing... cool. Well, I'll knock anyway. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they do have a, um, like a small glass window in the door that has a small kind of mechanical, like, blue looking bluebird that's kind of sitting Ooh. in it. It's not moving. It's just kind of, you know, sitting there, like kind it. of, like, half- uh, like, you know, frozen in a half tweet. Yeah. You kind of, you know, knock on the door, step back a little bit, just, you know, wait until you hear some response, and the, all, like, when you look back at the window, it, the bluebird has now moved its head and is now, like, looking at you, very obviously. I wave. I wave at it. Hello! Hello! We are oh. currently closed! You should come Shit. back a different time. Yeah, um, I was actually wondering about that lightning. I saw it from, like, way the fuck over that direction. And what's what's the deal with the lightning? The bird just kind of, like, cocks its head at you and then just repeats the same thing. Hmm. I uh, tried the door handle. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, it is locked. Okay, well, I mean, I can unlock it, but, like, I don't want to break this dude's door. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm going to investigate the lightning. The scorch mark on the ground? Rather, yeah, the scorch mark on the ground. <laughs> Sure. There's just a lightning bolt hovering midair, Star Wars style. <laughs> uh, yep. Let's give me a second. I can roll for this. Investigation. <laughs> oh shit! Nineteen. I'm trying to determine like the source and things like that. 
Uh, inside the shop. What it might have been caused by. Yeah, the lightning bolt definitely came from inside the shop, as far as you can tell. Mostly Ooh. because you can see like a little bit of the burn mark at the edge of the doorway. Ooh. But otherwise, it's kind of hard to tell much else about it. You don't know, you know what lightning magic. can do. Lightning can make fire. Do you know that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've seen lightning before. <laughs> um, have you seen it turn stuff on fire? Have you seen where lightning yes. strikes? I would, I would assume I have seen a lightning strike something and then a fire result. Because or I've never seen a lightning that. strike something. <laughs> because okay. lightning typically doesn't strike right next to people. Now, does lightning actually strike in the things? Distance, I've never seen you, it. You don't see like lightning strike something in a distance and then a fucking bonfire spring up. Yeah, but like dumbass. Yeah, you do. You totally do. It's a magic world. It's magic lightning. Fuck you. Oh, it's an inferno. Um, well, I'm I'm really set on getting answers, so I'm gonna I'm gonna knock on the door again. Hello? Knock on the door with your boot through the door. I'm uh trying to figure out what happened with this lightning scorch mark thing. Yeah, the bird just kind of like further cocks its head to an unnatural angle. Mm. Are you mm -hmm. able to not hear me? I have oh, said you, you just, this shop is currently cool. closed. Yeah, that's not my question. <laughs> it's not my question, little bitch, Galloway. <laughs> well, okay. Well, all right. Can can you answer other questions? Are you? Sentient. Good answer. All right. That opens knock, so knock, many knock. freaking problems. <laughs> <laughs> I knock again. <laughs> yep. At this, you can hear a lot of mechanical, like, um, well, a lot of mechanical sounds, but mostly a lot of, like, metal, like, tiny metal things, like striking wood. And the bird okay. just kind of like twirls around in it uh, on the little thing it's seeming to like sit on on the other side of the glass window. Oh, now you've got them all riled up. Fine. <laughs> you really, 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 really need to go and talk to Master? Fine. I'm gonna ruin his tea, though. <laughs> We've already it ruined his tea. <laughs> yeah, it flies off the window and. Uh, on the other side, like, just kind of looking through, uh, you see a, like, mass of basically what could be described as moving, um, like, moving display cases. They're all just kind of, like, jumping slightly in the air uh, with all they, their goods just, like, flying have, up and then falling shit. back in. Did they manage to push the dead bodies out the door? Yeah. There's no dead bodies right there, though. Nice. They've done okay, yeah, so I don't see any... There. Okay, wait. So does the door open? After about another minute, yeah. Oh, okay. You, cool. uh, the door opens and you see a very, very haggard-looking gnome. Yeah, okay, what, do I... what do you need? <laughs> Was his teeth fucking any... Irish? What the fuck? Oh my god, do I see any dead bodies? Uh, you see a lot of blood, but... No oh blood. god. Okay, cool. Uh... Well, I see a lot of blood. What see happened? There's a head-shaped hole in the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that head-shaped hole looks a lot like Z. People came in and broke everything and stole my lightning thing. And did, 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 did. I didn't steal it. It's yeah, still on the ground. It. It's still there. Yes, because drunk people are really good at remembering all details. So it is oh, Irish. Yeah. It was uh, Irish okay. tea. Poor little bitch. I'm gonna. Hmm. Who were these people? He goes and screws up his face and like think seems to think really hard. <laughs> Well, there Rush. was the big guy, and then 
some little guys and then a scaly guy and then metal guys and swords and stuff. All, All right, left. cool. You've you've described literally nothing. No, he said every fight ones. ever. And, well, no, there were metal ones and a scaly one, which narrows it yes. down to I don't know, probably like a third of the fights ever. <laughs> Yeah. All right. If there's a big one, then that that actually rules out all fights between halflings, gnome, kobolds, etc. So that the scorching <laughs> arcs and the lightning earlier was caused by your stolen lightning rod, or whatever the hell it was. Yeah, he broke it. it He's nearly done, and he broke it. The oh, moron who didn't know what to hold up and then freaking made a scorch mark in my shop and frightened all my stand bots and uh, he just basically like devolves into random gibbering. Wait, if I was holding it the wrong way. <laughs> um, all right. He is still super drunk. <laughs> yeah, he's wicked drunk right now. All right. Um. Hmm. Conscript him into the party. <laughs> we need more men like I him. I grab him and I put him on my shoulders. You're joining <laughs> us. No, <laughs> I don't do that. Uh. Hmm. Well, if you did, you get to find out what happens when you really rile up his butts. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking that chance. All Child. right. So uh... they, they already look kind of riled up. They're just not pushing past him. They haven't really stopped moving. That's fair. All right, well, um, that's all I, uh... Do you happen to know where they went off to? Uh, I I don't know. They were different direction after striking some assholes or some such. They had a big furry one, too. Pee everywhere. It was terrible. It It just just starts, like, (laughs) wire into the shop. I will not take this slander. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Well, was one of them like really dark and brooding? Yeah. And, like, he, super... he just kind of turns around and walks into the shop and starts complaining about pretty much everything that he possibly can complain about. All right. Well, uh, thanks. Uh, God damn it. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, I'm just going to turn around and leave. Yep, the door closes behind you as one of the many bots just kind of accidentally pushes oh, into it and closes before, it. Before I leave, I'm gonna yell to the bluebird, hey, "Hey, bluebird, you wanna you wanna stick with me instead?" <laughs> it flies up to the window as the door closes. You seem to be pretty just, cool. Like spin, like somehow goes and put, like you know sticks out a tongue at you. Yeah, that's what Even I thought. Even though birds don't have tongues, so <laughs> it should fair. be able to All do right, that. I leave. All right. Well, Raleigh, it's up to you to save the day. Don't know what the trouble is, but something's amiss. I don't know what I'm doing. (laughs) (laughs) Do any of us? Uh, I'm just going to head in a random direction. (laughs) Do you want to attempt to track them, or do you really (laughs) want to? Yeah, I'm going to attempt to track them. All right, go ahead and roll survival. (laughs) Uh, I should be... Nope. Well, you don't notice anything all that strange except for the massive trail of big thumping footprints like that have pushed oh. cobbles down. Cool, I'll follow that. At least it seems kind of weird, especially because <laughs> they start at the end of where the lightning bolt is. That's a less than a DC 10. That's really, really <laughs> obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's follow- cracked <laughs> cobblestones. Break freaking cobblestones with walking. Yeah, it's pretty easy to find it. <laughs> I will track that. It's like trying to follow like an orc raiding party. <laughs> Try to follow anyway. the flamethrower trail. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where it is. Anyway. I mean, it smells like napalm. I wonder what could do that. <laughs> so... Uh, well, which one of you wants to go first? Payton or Nora and Amelia? 
Like, I feel I'm, like I'm still trying to figure out a plan. <laughs> Peyton has the more interesting route right now. Mm, I, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Mine might be very interesting. It, there, there's two two possibilities, which is I don't find them, or I do find them and I get shanked to death in an alley. <laughs> I'm hoping for the first. Well, Theo's voting for Peyton's route, so... <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's my route, then. <laughs> well, since I've... Uh, since it's now just me and the dog, I'm yep. gonna go ahead and cast a... Ca pass that trace while I track. Uh, dropping stuff. So, go ahead and roll another survival, because the trail right. has gotten a little harder to follow now that there's a lot more people. Still gonna have the dog keep assisting. Yep. Nice. And right. I'm going to drop into stealth with Pass That Trace, so that and dog, dog. So there you go, 34 and 29 All as right. we follow. So you follow their trail that lead, seems to be leading like back toward the entrance that you guys went through, the southern one. And after tracking for another few minutes traveling through the uh, like just down Main Street, it seems like the trail goes and veers off into one of the, well, off to your right, so off into kind of the the more tinkering area of the city. Sure, just keep following. Yee. Yeah. And after another few minutes, you eventually run into a, well, run to the end of the trail. It seems at a tavern. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can tell which one it is it though. Uh, roll a d4 for me. A d4. Or sorry, d3. A d3. What does a d3 look like? Uh, it looks fucking weird. <laughs> it looks like it's easier just to roll it via <laughs> digital. Uh, it is a fairly trying to remember how good or bad this is. Right, they don't have a description of the outside because that would be silly. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, but the sign that's hanging over the door looks like a like little... Like, if you had to give it a name, like, I guess it may be an island. It's like a little green splotch with a weird, like, horned red humanoid, like, kind of looking over it. All right, then. Wait a minute. <clears throat> All right. Well, I was hoping I'd get ambushed in an alley, uh, because now this means I have to go into a situation that I'm already not going to want to do. But I've come this far, so I'm going to go a little bit farther. I'm going to uh, drop out of stealth, because I'm pretty sure if I try and stealth my way into a tavern, uh, <laughs> the door slides open and no one comes through. Yeah. Everyone is suspicious. A, a shadowy figure comes through. Hey, guys. <laughs> See ya. I'll uh, walk in, I suppose. All right. And See then I get stabbed in the neck. <laughs> Seeing as it's like, oh, I think only a little bit after the middle of the day, it's pretty quiet. There's only a few people st like in here, uh, other than the bartender, of course who Perfect. looks incredibly bored. Um, Are any of them wearing similar manners of dress as the people who we just killed? They all are wearing cloaks from the outside, so it's kind of hard to tell exactly. Mm. For some reason, no one in the thing, has, even though it's like they're inside and the cold has kind of been cut a little bit, have decided to drop said dress, but... The innkeeper, like, after you've been standing there for a few moments, goes and seems to notice you and immediately goes and uh, smiles and, like, waves you over. Sure. Yeah. Uh, All the people in the tavern are just kind of, like, sitting there nursing a drink or something to eat. Usually something cold, it looks like. Sure, I'll, uh, I'll walk over to the uh, innkeeper. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? Doing uh, all right. 
just uh, f pretend that I definitely still have like bruises and shit from the last fight. Probably should have healed up the full before I came in here. <laughs> yeah, well. Do you have any uh, wine by chance? Yeah. By the way, she is a human with that's clearly like a northern, or at least an imperial human. Uh, so light skinned. And Wonderful. very strange green hair that's cut in a like kind of clean short style. She's fairly like yeah, big boned is the descriptor of her. <laughs> Fuck. You know. This big boned. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, they have a few wines. All right. Yeah. She goes and lists off uh, their wine list, which is the Angry Whale Chardonnay, the Hammered Sword Chardonnay, uh, the House Merlot, which is something they just make, and or at least have at the moment, considering they can't exactly make it with the crops the way they are. And then the Lawful Dryad Chardonnay. The Lawful Dryad. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Fucking how much is a bottle of that? It's two silver for the bottle. Two silver for the bottle. All right. And we'll pay two silver for it. All right. And she we'll goes, say... like, onto the back wall and probably just threw a few bottles trying to figure out exactly that one is. I'm going to ask her if, uh, some people came in uh, maybe a minute or two before I did. Mm. I think we had... Ah, here it is. She just snatches one of the bottles from one of the higher shelves. Ah, freaking... This is one of the last ones. Damn it. Anyway, yeah, we had a small party come in. They wanted a couple rooms for the day. Well, huh. for the night, but, you know, for the day. They went right up after buying it. Hmm. Interesting. She just kind of walks back over and sets the bottle down while having a conversation. Tell me, how much is room for the night? Mm, they run you about a little over a silver. Mm. Unfortunately, uh, they actually took the last one. She just kind of like, not like nods a little bit to you. Apologies. And don't mention it. I'm gonna uh, drink a little bit and then basically just try and kill uh, a little bit of time. And then I'm basically I'm just gonna fucking go upstairs after that. <laughs> yep. I'm I'm a very simple person. I don't believe in finesse. <laughs> I wish I still had that bomb. <laughs> Yeah. The wine is not very good, by the way. <laughs> mm. It's kind of smoky and tastes like cork. It's not great. Mm. Eh. But it's wine. It does what it's supposed to do. I am, I am sure I can find another use for it. Namely as a surprise opener. <laughs> yep. So, you're going to walk upstairs? And uh, once I get out of sight from people below, I'm going to drop back into stealth. All right. So let's do that. And right. also for the dog. Fuck that dog. You know what? I'm not seeing pattern. <laughs> All right. Um, upstairs, it seems like we only have four rooms currently. Like in total, so unless they decide to, you know, build up. Mm. All of them, of course, are closed as they should be. All right, now, now dog. Which which one did these fuckers go into? <laughs> it seems like the one at the end of the hall. All right, so go to the one at the end of the hall. Yeah, and specifically like... on the right because they're set up like you know left right. All right. So if you had to count it before. I would like to uh, listen at the door. All right. Go ahead and roll perception. Well, you know there are muffled voices inside. 
really hear any of the specifics. Mm. Mostly because it's all muffled. That's a real shame, because that means I have to do this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I don't have to, but I'm going to. Uh... Hmm. I'd like to knock on the door. All right. You do hear the muffled voices stop talking for a moment. And I'm going to... uh, uh stand up and drop half stealth. I'm going to leave the dog in stealth by the side of the door, though. Uh, and I'm going to get prepared to cast uh, cast spike growth. Alright. So, the door opens, and do you cast spike gro- growth no, now? No, I, I, I'm not going to cast immediately. I'm just going to... Mo- it, it was more the idea of if the person immediately recognizes me, then I'm casting it instantly. If they don't, then I'm going to hold it. Alright. The person that opens the door is a... Uh, well, you couldn't tell if they had their cloak on, but, you know, they have off since they died at this point. They seem to be a half-elf by their, like, ears, but it's hard to tell exactly what their, you know, descent is. Right. They... Kind of just look at you confused. Yeah, you need something. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm looking for my uh, a friend of mine. Uh, do do I? I can't remember if I heard any of them talking outside. You did not catch any names, if that's what you're searching for. No, just just voices at this point. I, I don't really need names. Uh, the only one that you heard was the guy who seemed to be giving the orders. Yeah, I'm looking for a, a friend of mine about about. I'm going to give like a a fairly vague description of Amelia. <laughs> Yay, tall, kind of has the scent of death about her. Uh, you know that, that cast stuff. Yeah, he like, immediately so, so like wrinkles it. Scent of death. I don't know why exactly you're trying to search for what I guess is some sort of. Rave robbing necromancer, but I, I would like here. I would like to insight them to see if they they recognize the person I was describing. Though, go ahead. Yeah, as far as you can tell, he doesn't know what you're talking about. Huh. Yeah, he doesn't really block the doorway too much because he, you know, he's an elf. He's kind of wiry. Yeah. Uh, you can see another small group inside. Uh, one that seems to be just kind of sitting on a chair, like leaned back with a cup of something that he seems to be like sipping and grimacing at, kind of in equal measure. Uh. Uh, he definitely seems to be like even just kind of watching him sit there, just kind of laid back. He seems to carry himself with at least some level of nobility. Uh, the others in the room. Uh, seem to be more of the mercenary stat- like type. Uh, one of them is a ember dwarf who like very obviously has his hand on his halberd, though he just kind of is looking bored. Like he's just kind of like tapping on it, you know, tapping on the shaft while he's just kind of like watching him drink with just kind of a similar expression of like disgust on his face. Uh, the other person seems to be a northern human or at least a you know imperial human who is strangely still has his cloak on so it's hard to tell exactly what he looks like he also has weapons do i uh do i see anything that would remind me of the the group people he killed any like distinguishing features or uh emblems shit like that investigation for me investigation my my best stat my yeah. best stat. <laughs> so, holy as shit! As you're just kind of looking, yeah. As you're looking them over, uh, the similar symbol on not all of them, uh, specifically, actually, only the elf, their half elf, standing in front of you, and the the noble. The noble seems to carry it like very obviously. He has it like on his uh, like wrist, pretty much. 
the elf at least has the some decency to hide it and has it like on his neck kind of like you can't quite see all of it but you can see enough of it to think that's probably what it is yeah. wasn't the noble the prick that uh looked in and then said hey kill that bitch <laughs> paraphrasing uh, of course but perhaps he's not spoken so it's hard to tell oh. whether or not it's the same person you never you didn't really get a good look at him hmm I wanted to uh, gesture the symbol and ask, uh, "Hey, hey, what's uh, what's that about?" Gesture the the symbol and yeah, he just kind of like tries to cover it up a little more. It's a new symbol group I'm joining. He just kind of gives a sheepish smile. They demand what? that you put one of these on you. What uh, what group would that be? His eyes kind of light up a little bit. Oh, they're the. <laughs> oh my fucking god. He just kind of like he he like he lights up and he starts to say Pantheon and then like you all of a sudden hear mm-hmm, from the back of the room and he just stops and just kind of turns his head and you just kind of you know looking past the noble now who is very interested in the conversation in the front you know in the at the door so we have a visitor well do come in might as well since you've decided to go and come into our room is is the voice the guys yeah it's very obviously the guy <sighs> the half elf just kind of steps out of the way yes please enter our trap i i'm going to uh stand or not immediately going in and ask uh so uh you had some business with all my friends huh it depends i would guess one of your friends is not noble though no, I don't really know any nobles. I'm well, a bit, uh... Are you friends with a strange gnome that I had business with earlier today? I would say I was friends with them. Well, then I doubt I have any business with your friends. <sighs> oh my fucking god. You're really beating around the bush here, Z, huh? What happened? Hmm. <laughs> On one hand, I could I could take the the small victory I've gotten so far and leave without getting killed. On the other hand, just as a ghost, the the dwarf now has definitely stopped just tapping on the halberd and is definitely holding it now. That that's and fair. Is looking at you, the but other person is looking at you as well with the, his hands on his longsword and shield. The good news is, spike earth not only does damage, it makes it difficult terrain, <laughs> which would give me plenty of time to run my happy ass out of there. Wow, they they seem to be mercenaries, so they're doing the very normal mercenary thing of you seem to be a threat to our boss. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair assessment. <laughs> God, do I what the fuck was Amelia's last name? Gustav. Uh yeah, she already fucking knows you. He said, Oh, it's you. Kill her. <laughs> uh do you ever know something by the name of uh uh, uh Amelia? Amelia. Amelia. No, the name doesn't ring a bell. Hmm. Was uh, it? Yay Tall tried to kill her earlier? Something like that? He just raises one eyebrow. Tried to kill someone earlier. Sure, I guess I've you... been out in the middle of the city, but... I guess you I didn't try. You more sent something anyone. else to kill someone. Or told someone to kill someone. Yeah, same difference, though. He just kind of looks around. Well, I can assure you that my current mercenaries haven't been given orders to murder anyone yet. Although I can more than assure you that they have certainly wanted me to. He just kind of gives it like a knowing mm -hmm. glance to the guy who still has his cloak up. All right. Who just so, kind uh... of like vaguely shrugs. Second. Hello? I can still hear you. All right, yeah. Uh, I didn't hear any of what you said in that. Oh. Where did I cut out? Uh, like as soon as you start talking. Oh, frickin'. 
I heard uh, it, but yeah, that's that was weird. I'm trying to think now what it was. It was. I think it was just. I, I, I haven't told anyone to kill, but uh, they would love if I did. And then he looked at the guy with the cloak, and the clo- guy with the cloak shrugged. Yeah, basically. Hmm. I'm sorry. He said he hasn't told these mercenaries to kill yet. <laughs> he was no. very specific with that. I, I respect it. <laughs> I respect uh, the word games. Mostly because I'm a big fan of them. <laughs> well, my first favorite is that, oh no, I'm not going to kill you. I promise. Hey, you, kill him. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, I obviously didn't order these mercenaries to kill people because these mercenaries are the living ones. He just shrugs. It's kind of what mercenaries are for. Dying. Well, you'd prefer that they kill the whatever you ordered them to kill, but it doesn't always happen. I would recommend not like I'm mercenaries, a, like major hero or anyone. Eh. The dwarf just kind of glares at him. You, you wouldn't need a major hero to kill us, but you still still failed pretty hard. He just looks taken aback. Kill you? What reason well, not, do they have to kill not you? Not me. Not me. It was Amelia. No, the one with the uh. The he holy just kind of waves a hand at you. Just if you don't have anything worth talking about, please leave. I have a very busy schedule later today. But I just wanted to ask why you wanted to kill my friend. Again, I have no idea what you're talking about. I already know that he he's lying, but I'm going to try and insight it just to be sure, I guess. So, insight that. You're pretty yeah. sure he's not lying. Hmm. Well, I know they're staying. I at least have one of their scents for the dog, so that'll work for now. All right, then I'm just going to turn and leave. Yep. You just hear him kind of utter good, and then the door closes quietly. And I'm going to uh, drop into stealth and go back up to listen at the door. <laughs> oh, my God. I never know when to quit. <laughs> and leave house. Do you and that first one? because I didn't cast a spell <laughs> uh, yet, I still have Pass of That Trace going. <laughs> Drop back in stealth and go up and listen at the door. So, 23. All right. Go ahead and roll that perception again. 13. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, that's at least enough to actually like, yeah. hear what's going on. Yeah. It Better wasn't than a fucking that, that one. Yeah. You hear the uh, the guy go and just tell the, uh, the elf to do, like the half elf to do the thing is literally his wording. And you hear the elf just kind of sigh and start uh, like chanting pretty much the voice that you most likely are going to guess is the dwarf just kind of goes so we're just something for you to use eh? just us to use thanks boss thanks <laughs> i like the dwarf i get him <laughs> hey it's not my fault and not everyone thinks i'm a noble immediately especially some random come country bumpkin from the middle of nowhere you have to put on some flair it's necessary besides nobles don't tend to care about mercenaries it's just not what they do you just hear a grunt from inside and you i know i know i know i know you want me to let you do it i'm not going to let you do it will make us look even worse than we already do morris morris no don't Boris, let him finish! And then the door gets freaking booted open. And you see a very startled elf and the cloaked guy with the sword and shield just standing in front of the door. Blade already held aloft. Cool. Just staring down at you. Now the good news is, I have alert, so I'm not surprised. (laughs) And the better news is, I'm gonna have the dog try and rip his leg out from under him from the other side of the door. (laughs) Go ahead. And, uh... So let's have just a bite. So there's nice. 20. Yeah, it's going to hit. So then 11 damage. Holy shit. He, he's definitely still alive. But yeah, hit him, I expect him to be alive. I was more of hoping he won't be standing. 
Yeah, no, he he just entirely shakes off the dog. Unfortunate. And then he actually, like, his mask falls off a little bit, and he just bellows, Assassin! And then attempts to try strike you. Well, hardly. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm glad I didn't go with Z. Oh, yeah. I'm a big fan of overstaying my welcome. <laughs> it's, a f it's not very efficient, but God, it's fun. Well, That's a mess. Yep. Assassin! The assassin has a shield! Fuck! Yep. I need to remind myself of something. Come on. Oh, I still have that bag of gunpowder. Hmm. Throw it in the room and blow it up. Oh, good. They do. <laughs> I super could. I probably have more health than these guys do. Yep, so he swings once and goes wide and then brings it up, like, kind of, you know, backslashes and catches yep. you a little off guard. And then the blade starts to glow as it freaking connects with you. Did this get smited? Yeah, yeah, you did. Hell yeah! <laughs> That's what I like to see! Alright, what kind of spells do you have, buddy? Oh boy, you have spells. All right, so he's going to hit you for that. No, it's... Oh, actually, no, it's, it's not a metal bash. Well, it's a pretty light smite, but he does zap you. Well, I have got the information that I want, so I think it might be time for me to leave. Zoinks, let's get out of here. Oh, I can run fast. This won't be an issue. Because mm -hmm. I can drop Spike Griff on myself and then just fucking book it. Yeah, can you roll a wisdom save, though? I can try. As the, the half-elf immediately nope. reaches out a hand and just screams, Hold! And mm -hmm. unsurprisingly, you freeze. Well, you know, I was about to make the nice. joke of a nat one. Yeah. Second nat one. Feels good, man. Not been rolling ideal this session. Yep. Wait, can you just have the dog attack you? Oh, yeah. The dog super can just bite that guy's <laughs> fucking ankles. Gnaw his legs off. Speaking of the dog, seeing you can't move. And the dwarf isn't moving quite yet, and the other guy apparently has to engage. Do you want to attempt to bite the... Actually, yeah, the paladin is currently in the way, so... Yeah. You can bite yeah. the paladin again. Yeah, go for the Paladin, why not? Yeah, that's going to be another hit on the Paladin. For more damage. But yet again, the Paladin just doesn't fall. Yeah, it's a Paladin. He, <laughs> If he fails this, it's going to be surprising and hilarious. All right. Um, the Paladin is going to just continue to ignore the dog. And hold up his sword and attempt to strike you again. Oh, yeah, he, he's super gonna hit. Yeah. Where, where is... I'm trying to figure out exactly what he has as options. I so if he did hold... Is... Oh, well, well it's the other is, guy. The other guy who yeah, did hold. But power. but I I was I was just seeing what does. It, I I can't take actions. I can't move, but I can still defend myself. Yep. So that's good. Yeah, you're paralyzed for the duration, apparently. Paralyzed for halt. Yeah, for hold person. Oh, it's hold person. Yeah, I I went for command for some reason. Yeah, no, it's uh, not. You're. Yeah. They get advantage on attacks, and I think anything yeah. that hits you is an auto crit. Well, the creature is incapacitated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm fucked. Auto fails, strength, dex saves, attack rolls have advantage, and any attack. Yeah, geez, that's freaking painful. <laughs> Holy hell. Net one. I'm guessing camp. smites don't freaking get to add to crits. Because oh, they sure, they sure they do. They yeah. do? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Paladin, that's why Paladin's good, because yep. they can add smite Paladin's after they hit the crit. Yeah, so he's gonna fucking hit. Yeah, and he's gonna smite. 
Yep. Uh, really testing out those can't die abilities now, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding, huh? Yep. Not everyone is as paranoid as Payton, but there are certainly people who are as paranoid as Payton. Yeah, so he's going to hit you for a freaking pretty mighty smack of 29. Oh, yeah, that hurts like hell. Yep. Uh, and then the guy behind him is going to do the same thing. Oh, so I'd like to be known that uh, I didn't get a chance to roll initiative, which is unfair, given they have alert. <laughs> oh, well. If Go I ahead. die, it's a... Huh? Go ahead and roll for your save. We'll put you That's in. That's true. It's another wisdom, right? Yeah, it's another wisdom. Yeah, you break out of it. I'm not dealing with Fucking this shit today. Get out of there. <laughs> I believe it's at the end of your turn, though, right? I'm not forgetting that. Yeah, it's the end of the turn. Yeah. Fun. All right. Uh, and before he just holds person make. <laughs> oh, the temptation to do... Can I do that? It just fireball me. Well, that's what I'm thinking. That's yeah. what I'm thinking he might be. Seeing as he definitely can. But he's considering whether or not he'll blow up his paladin buddy who will immediately be mad at him. Because he has to care. I can tell you that pretty much no matter what, this fight is going to end with them winning. Oh, nice. Okay. It's just how many licks I get in in the process. All right. Um, actually... the temptation to do that instead, but no, I think he's going to do exactly what you said he's going to do. Hell yeah. Hold person again? <laughs> no, fireball. he's going to fireball you. Hell yeah. I'm, oh uh, my god. Th there's physically no way I can uh, not wait, can get knocked wait, out. Wait, hold on. Unless he rolls all fireball. one and then I succeed. Do I get to see the fire? <laughs> it's not quite that way. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> The whole inn you'll is going to be on fire, though. Yeah, you'll definitely notice the after effects. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's going to, like, point down the hallway a little bit. So he attempts to at least not blow up. Then, uh, Does he succeed? Well, Paladin is, auto is going to automatically succeed because of something he does. So Paladin is still going to take a lick. All right. Um... What, a wizard doesn't have fucking spell shaping? What a loser. He's not a wizard. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> also, even if he was, yeah, fuck him for not picking that one school of magic. Uh-huh. <laughs> <That's the only laughs> even one though that... every freaking wizard ever bring fireball to a because why would you not? <laughs> eh, sometimes you get your friends caught up in a fireball. It, uh, you know, it happens. Yep. Also, I think the medicine did kick in, so I'm feeling much better now. <laughs> That's good. Yay! All right. Uh, so go ahead and make that deck oh, save. I am 100% knocked out. I have Even seven health. Enemy? Oh, then yeah. Well, Unless just, he rolls all might... ones. Well, I'm more wondering, is there any way it's going to straight up kill you? I don't think. No, it, if it, it can't kill me, and there's a 99% chance I am getting knocked out by it. All right. Go ahead and make that deck save, though, just on off chance. Sure. Yeah. No. I'm getting knocked. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to blast you. The Paladin does at least take a lick from it. That becomes, um, what, 16? So dog's head. Uh, he's enough dexterous to not freaking take the full. Right, he auto succeeded. Uh, oh boy. Yep, so you're down. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And now Dog decides to do what it wants to do. 
which I can guarantee is continue trying to kill the freaking guy who attempted murder massacre. Yep. So, dog attacks. And... And dog fails. Yep. All right. Yep. Uh, the... Because we can't do the... Because it's not a crit automatically when you set melee. But, yeah, the pattern is just going to hit me twice more. Bring you down to negative. Nice. It doesn't have three I mean, attacks. So. I don't think he really needs to, given that the uh, building is on fire. <laughs> it's yeah. going to solve itself pretty quickly. Yep. Uh, and then the mage is going to try and cast something at uh, dog. Dog rules wisdom. Dog is successful with the 17. It's going Jeez. to continue acting, and you go ahead and roll. Death. I'm calling it. I'm fucking dead. I've never succeeded a death save. There you no. go. I've never succeeded <laughs> a death save as this character. Not once. Fuck. Yep. And you're back in the afterlife with death with more paperwork this time. No. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Nah. This is the second time you've died. Yep. And death hasn't been. How you hanging? Fuck off. <laughs> yep. He doesn't. He doesn't really do anything other than continue to shove paperwork into your face. I just keep slapping out of his hand. Yep. <laughs> no. So, give uh, me something that only needs one signature, and then we'll talk. <laughs> little bitch. <laughs> that just points at the gate. <laughs> I just keep slapping it out of his hand. No, give me so that requires a single signature. Then we'll talk. Yep. After a few moments, like all of a sudden, your chest starts feeling like it's on fire, mm. and then you wake up and realize that uh, it might not just be your chest. Well, this was this okay. is an unfortunate situation. Yep. Uh, See, he's just Mitchell. kind of like sitting there, sad, like looking at you, and then looks really confused. Uh, the other people are gone. All right, dog, help Mitchell me out. As soon as oh, yeah. I see the you fire, you definitely that notice that. <laughs> we got a lot me, of work to do, I'm dog. I'm running to it. Yep. You can smell uh, smoke all of a sudden. How, how much health do I have? I'm, I'm assuming I uh, get up with a single health. Yeah, you're up at one. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna fucking scarf down ten good berries. <laughs> <laughs> this building is on fire, and I really don't want to burn to death on the way out. Yep. Wait, does fireball actually leave stuff on fire, or In this case, yeah. if it's wooden walls? Well, no, usually, like you know, uh, how acid acid splash doesn't actually melt stuff; it just does damage. Yeah, but acid splash and fireball are different different spells. So I know that's what I was asking for fireball. I would say better judgment if you cast fireball in a small wooden building. Yes, it's gonna that explode. And this, that and this 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 particular caster doesn't have complete control. Mm magic. Uh, All right, let's leave this building. <laughs> His magic tends to react um chaotically at points. Also, important question, did the dog get some good licks in when I was out? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> then the two bites, the dog did not. So. Oh boy. Alright, let's fucking crawl or fight my way out of this dumbass building. <laughs> yep. You were able to make it downstairs. It seems like uh, at this point, most people have noticed that the building is on fire and have decided that being in a you know building on fire is bad, and have evacuated. Uh, you make it outside, and then the like four pat you know three patrons and the the um, barkeep who looks like positively distraught. Uh, everyone else that you were fighting is gone. I need to stop ending up in burning buildings. <laughs> yep. Oof, 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 oof. Fire! Fire! Oof, oof. I want to see it. <laughs> yeah, I am like, running like starting, my life depends on it. For it's this just one. starting to have like the smoke billow out, so that it's you know visible to everyone. Uh, gonna, in the meantime, I'm just gonna find somewhere to take a short rest. <laughs> Uh, Drake and Amelia, 
you guys are going to go and try and find that cleric guy who apparently is in the nobles complex. So how are you getting in the nobles complex? Uh. <laughs> Seeing as there is a small freaking army of guards standing up. Um. All I'm just going to do is I usually do and just walk up and, uh, Health Inspector! We've come to ex inspect the kitchen! Look at all these diamonds I got. These- I must be rich. <laughs> I'm a noble! I don't know which of those is worse. <laughs> I can guarantee Health Inspector will never be accepted as a viable disguise choice. Coward. I'm just going to do the usual and just walk up and just ask if I can uh, see the Fucking, you own the place. <laughs> Alright. The guard that's going, that like kind of steps forward to lead your interaction asks what you need to do with the cleric. Well, I, uh, just have some questions about the, uh, winter festival, seeing how I've missed it, and he seems to have had quite the uh, event. My name is Drake Shivermaw, and I am from the uh, Tinkerer's Guild. I am returned from a uh, quite a long journey. Here are my papers. <laughs> You're just so happy you get to show your papers off to fucking... I am! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guards just kind of like look between each other. A lot of people don't believe me for some reason. Well, uh, mainly my compatriots. So, you want to talk with the cleric about the winter festival? That is correct. You do know that he wasn't here during the winter festival, right? What do you mean? He arrived later, as far as I know. Oh. He was called on to resurrect one of the nobles. Wait, isn't he the cleric of the of this town? Or not the town, but of the nobles? For Did he what he was doing out? After or, the festival, yeah. Oh. Wait, I thought he was from four. Or am I just getting things wrong? He's a cleric of Moradin. You know, if that helps any. Well, I'm, I was just wondering if, uh, like, seeing how I knew him by name, I wasn't sure if I was just like, oh, yeah, you just heard the uh, cleric's name, or... Oh, no, 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 uh, no, no the yeah, the tinker. Since then. <laughs> yeah, the, the uh, tinker person gave me the uh, my contact. Yeah, Gwynlin. Yeah, I forgot about that, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh, may I still speak with him? They just kind of, like, look between each other again, shrug, I guess. Thank you. Man, Williams doesn't want to die for good. I'm going to have so much paperwork. <laughs> this you know, I can't... After every death. I can't wait to die. I'm going to love that paperwork. I am Who not says you'll going... get paperwork? Yeah, I, I only get paperwork die. because I, I have a, I'm very in touch with nature, which requires a lot of bullshit signing. <laughs> there are a lot of forms like, hey, what do you want your body's nutrients to go to? <laughs> like, fuck off is why I want them to go to. <laughs> Me, bitch. Yep. At least as far as death, death and resurrection works, uh, people generally think that the Grim Reaper just kind of shows up if you don't follow like a legit god. So they just kind of show up and be like, how do you want your afterlife to be? You Fuck off. these places. <laughs> I want to go back to where I came from, you little bitch. <laughs> Fight but, me. Pretty much. Yep. He, he didn't agree to the knife fight. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. He'd... So, yep, they let you in. One of the guards at the back points you over towards a uh, small like pretty obviously religious building it's not more than a kind of overblown shrine like it, they don't have a legitimate temple to moradin here but this is apparently their make do 
Oh, I'm sure he enjoys it. I head to the uh, temple for the <laughs> religious shack. <laughs> the religious shack, yeah. All right. So. Whoa. You... <laughs> yeah. As you get closer, a fairly, like a very obviously younger, um, like, not a cleric, but a younger priest, an acolyte, I guess, would like comes running out with a tray that's full of empty cups and just sprints past you back towards the lord, like the the noble manor, the noble keep, or not the manor. Well, this cleric isn't uh, a dwarf. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Let's uh, hurry up before he gets too. Uh... Wet on the gills like a fish. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I think that's best. Yep. So you step inside, and they have like it seems at least like this building has been set up so it has a uh, major doorway without like a door or anything that very obviously leads to a like kind of the main room for prayer. Um, and then it has a couple of side rooms. There are a few acolytes that are just kind of, for lack of a better term, manning these areas. Like, there's a few that seem to be offering, uh, not communion, but the, like, basically helping, helping offer prayers to uh, Morden from uh, someone that's, like, in the chapel currently, though they're a human, as far as you can tell from, like, a distance. The other two rooms seem to lead off, like, into different areas of the building. The one on the left has no one guarding it, and the no, the door is closed. The one on the right has a door, but there's also a acolyte that's just kind of standing there. She seems to be really, really bored. Well, I'm just going to walk up to that one, then. All right. Yeah, She seems to perk up a little bit when you walk up. Like, try and pay attention. Uh, yes? Do you need something? Um, yes. I'm here to speak with, uh, Kilrod. You mean the head cleric here? If that isn't too much of a bother, yes. Um, she just kind of, like, looks behind her. I apologize. Cleric Armored Bush is currently busy right now. Look, I saw that, uh, that other acolyte run out of the, uh, temple. How bad is it? She just kind of winces when you mention the other acolyte. Uh, well, let's just say he's never not busy. Well, from my understanding, he's a, uh, dwarf variety, so... He nods. He should be able to hold his liquor. That's putting it lightly. Like, really. Well, uh, if it's not too much of a bother, may I uh, see for myself? Uh, as long as he, he doesn't ask me to drink. Rugs. Oh, he'll definitely ask you to drink. Accept it. It's polite. I know. I, I made that mistake once already. <laughs> She kind of looks at like a meal. I'll drink. Times, and then turns around, uh, pulls a key out of one of her pouches, and unlocks the door, and then like kind of pokes her head through. Is the golem with us? Yeah, the golem okay. is with you. Good. It's following you around. It doesn't seem to know what to do, so it has apparently decided to do what it was last ordered to do. Uh, Amelia, uh, you know I'm not. At least that's your guess. It's hard to tell exactly what it's doing since it hasn't said a word after you guys like basically just ignoring it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she pokes your head through and uh, yells in that you know he has visitors. Head cleric, kill armored bush, and it sounds like he he says something in dwarven. That apparently, she takes to mean come in. As she you know, uh, opens the door all the way and then steps outside, you know, steps aside. I also speak dwarfish. 
Yeah, you you pick up that it's basically. Okay, I head in. All right. Same here. She just kind of like points at the golem. Uh, can that creepy thing be left outside? Sure, though it's sort of the the subject of conversation. It is. Kind of like. It is it. <laughs> Wait, why are we going here? <laughs> yeah, she just kind of leers at it. I guess you can bring it inside. It'll have to leave. I thought you were trying to fix it. Yeah, I have no idea what you guys are doing. I'm, I'm <laughs> following along. <laughs> It's my uh, investigation. I'm trying to follow along. Kind of <laughs> I I'm currently uh, in the middle of paperwork with death, or refusing paperwork with death. So, well, currently you're busy tracking, but yeah. Nah, I'm always in paperwork with death. <laughs> that bastard started following me around in my fucking daydreams. <laughs> a little shit thinks he'll get. He thinks maybe he can get me to do it when I'm like not paying attention. <laughs> Never, <laughs> bastard. When you're stunned, instead of like little stars or birds flying around your head, it's just little deaths with papers. <laughs> no, fuck off! That's why someone got thrown to the seal. <laughs> anyway, uh, the room that you enter, like he's not, he's clearly not here. Um, it seems to be a like kind of, you know, oh, I'm trying to think of the word, an entertainment room. But I guess a, a, basically a parlor of sorts. As there's a couple of old, you know, a couple of bookshelves with some books that seem to be very, very disused from the amount of dust on them. Uh, a couple of chairs, a small table. Uh, there is another doorway once you, like, kind of step a little further in. Leads off to the left that is currently kind of, like, half open. There's also small, like, kind of to think but probably like iron candlesticks that have been like slammed into the walls these ones seem to be more recent as both they have no dust on them whatsoever and they have small um like kind of anvils at the bottom like at the base of them so <clears throat> there is no no cleric here right now at least the one you're looking for well, I plan on heading to where it sounds like uh, there's heavy drinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like it's in the other room. <laughs> I head there. All right. Or attempt to. Yeah. There's a trap. <laughs> and mimics pop out. <laughs> what? You do hear like wood scraping against the ceiling as you walk like walk in. As apparently the golem did not get the hint. Hey golem, could you lean down a little bit? It leans down like a few inches, so its head is not scraping like directly against the ceiling. Oh, Dang. Like, a little a little trail of splinters. Yeah, so you, you walk up to the door, and as you're about to push it open, it gets pushed open, like, back towards you, just kind of shoving you a little way, and a very, very inebriated... Inebriated? Wow. Inebri a very drunk freaking ember... <laughs> to try to say the word. Uh, steps through. Ah! You are the ones who wanted to speak to me, right? Did you find yep. that is a... the gold for the resurrection of your kin? What? Wait. I think she we're... looks at you expectantly. There's uh, been a confusion, I think. So you're not another person who needs some resurrection services? No. Not currently. Well, then right now, we have... I'm currently busy. Well, I'm going to be, uh, rather frank with you, uh, I have questions about what happened during the last winter festival, seeing how you've been, uh, called in here and made yourself come. I hope you're enjoying the, uh, whatever you're drinking, ale, probably. 
he decides to ignore most of that, at least considering he decides to just go on to the, oh, you're coming in to question me about that noble who died and had to be brought back. Freaking weakling humans, they just fall right over when you push on them a little bit with some fire. Very sad. He just plops himself in one of the, uh, one of the two chairs in the room. Yeah, Wait, humans, am I right? Yeah, yeah there was like that. a, it was like an explosion, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was an explosion, but, uh, I know the, uh, gnome used like, oh, it was electricity and steam. Not exactly, a uh, fire. Am I remembering that right, or? Yeah. An explosion, uh, right? causes fire yeah it can, it can cause fire but i'm saying like the way yes, that's the, the gnome describes it as electricity and steam both no. things cause fire <laughs> both things cause burning not necessarily cause fire well, oh no steam fire, and fire. fire. <laughs> listen in rally's mind imagining... everything is fire <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> So he's just kind of sitting in the chair. He like just vaguely gestures to you that you can sit in the chair. For someone who very clearly is probably like maybe two dozen drinks into their session, he still seems to be fairly good at like moving around and speech. There is no slur at all. He's a dwarf. <laughs> yeah, but not all dwarves hold their alcohol this well. <laughs> he's a clerical dwarf. <laughs> he's a uh, Jesus behind him. Dwarven Jesus, yeah, but sure. He has a kick ass beard. Okay, so, uh. He does. Fire. Have, he does have a big beard. Fire, you say? Well, the body I received was not exactly in very many pieces, but certainly very, very blackened. It was hell trying to convince the spirit to go back into it. Have to huh. have your spirit convinced to go back into your dead body. We're a little bitch. No, I don't want to. Just fucking have a strong spirit that refuses to die. Well, uh, I guess in that case, did it, uh, smell a little bit awkward? Like, uh, what's the smell of ozone? Like, again, I guess, uh, what, sterile? How would you describe ozone? Not entirely sure what you mean. How would you well, describe the smell if, of if, ozone? Yeah. See, if he was hit by lightning or something, he might, you know. Mm, by the time I got there, he didn't really smell anything like that rot, I suppose. Okay, I guess that's not really helpful then. Um. Hmm. Well, anything that you can tell me about it? Well traumatized the poor lad. Although, I guess dying does that to everyone. It's not exactly something you're supposed to repeat. Usually it's not something, you know, uh, I've been on the road for a while now. When you see your life flashing before your eyes as someone stabs you with a sword, that's not really pleasant. Or Coward. exploding. I didn't say it. I said it was unpleasant. Coward. You stay dead. <laughs> no, I don't. Just, no, just enjoy it. You're calling Hell, me a coward. You face it. <laughs> coward. There's about paperwork that. in death. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I will take the stabbing and the burning and the being shot and pretty much everything involving uh, dying process. However, I am not doing fucking paperwork. <laughs> The Grim Reaper can suck my entire ass. Fuck no. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, this whole time he's just, he's continued drinking. Either from a cup or a flask or anything that seems to hold some sort of alcohol in the room. He again just gestures for you to sit down. I am sitting. Alright. He immediately just pushes one of the one of the cups towards you. Oh. 
is this something heavy? Like, you know, with a high uh, alcohol content? Uh, not as far as I can tell. I've had some real drinks that knock me down. This stuff barely gives me a tickle. I'm going to sip it. All right. It it tastes like alcohol. <laughs> I'm being very careful. I remember the last time that I... <laughs> Keep in you mind, the last kidnapped. time you had, you freaking, like, chugged it and knocked yourself out. That's why I'm sipping. <laughs> yeah. It Wait tastes, a minute. As far as you can tell, more like a um, beer or ale rather than... Like, Did you say you're drinking candy. alcohol? Yeah. I'm doing what I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> Look, this is this is more important. I have to give like my answer. You're a piece of shit. This is for country. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. So uh why was he traumatized outside of, you know, dying? Mm-hmm. Well, he went on and on for about a massive explosion and searing heat and dragon's fire and all sorts of other guff before I freaking slapped him aside the head and got him on his way. Told him to go home and freaking talk to his family for a while. That seems to cheer everyone up for a little while. Unless they got really sucky families, but yeah, it's not my problem anymore. Well, seeing as I'm here... I just, it crossed back up. But, uh, hmm. Anything out of the ordinary, I guess? Mm, well, Outside of, you know. The spirit dude. refused to return for a while, but I think he was just a freaking prissy noble who didn't want to come back to a charred corpse. Even though I more than assured him that it wouldn't be charred if he came back. It's a dragon's fire. Hmm. Anything else you can possibly look that tell much me? into it being actual dragon's fire. I think you'd hear a hell of a lot more accounts of that, and I'd have a hell of a lot more corpses to pick up. Well, not exactly dragon's fire, but some other type of fire. Where you see that uh, the injuries were, well, more or less should have been related to, uh, I guess... Imagine, you know, boiling a chicken or uh, finding a log that's been zapped by a... a Who you know, boils a of light. chicken? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Look, I've been watching like 30 ways to I am chicken. the chef of the party. You're not allowed to talk about food. It's not. A, it's not a good way to cook Who chicken. Who boils chicken? Chicken. It's a way, but you're not supposed to. You can also, you know, uh, uh, I don't know. Dark Hill doesn't wait. boil anything, so you can also, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, boiling would leave it with too much moisture. Yeah. I know, and it's terrible. There's like a for some reason there was like a video of a guy who boiled chicken for like thirty times. Not boiled, but uh, different cooking. Yeah. Anyway. Broil. Also broil. Yeah. At this point, he seems to at least take vague note of Amelia and the golem that's just kind of wandering around looking at random things, like poking the candles and poking books. And It Stop hasn't that. at least made it like to the table to poke anything yet, but it, it looks like it's thinking about it. Hey. What's up? I don't mind that. I don't know why we brought it here. <laughs> what? He just kind of points at you and then points at the table. For Amelia, I told you it was the tinkering skill that you want to go to. I, I don't know what I thought. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I just thought I wasn't I thinking. Know. That's why I suggested a boiled <laughs> chicken. I'm sorry. What? I haven't been paying well, attention. Technically, you boil an egg. Technically, that's boiling a chicken. Alright, I'm gonna go have a drink, as this guy is suggesting. That is not... 
<laughs> now I'm extra angry because you also what? said you don't yeah, drink, which I'm is why you did fucking. Let me, let me go grab something. Yeah, I have salt. Because you two both didn't fucking get the drink while I offered it. And, and then you fucking now are both getting drinks with this random person. So now I'm mad. <laughs> You know what? The, this random person hasn't stabbed either of us. That's fair. <laughs> Yet. It isn't the fact that you both said that you don't drink. I don't... By the way, uh, where did you guys leave rain? Did, did, did we have rain? I wasn't going to take rain, what? I, he's in here. <laughs> no, rain is just standing outside talking with the acolytes you feel okay like. you guys kind of forgot about them when you walked in i know it's like the, it's like rain just follows whoever uh you know whatever he's forgot. anyway so hey mitchell i wrote an overly long letter for you oh good Ooh. <laughs> i'm excited so he just kind of looks, you know, looks at you. Is there anything else? What do you know about, um... Uh, people trying to kill... Hmm. What do you know about golems? Mm, not much, really. I'm more in the resurrection and souls field. That sort of thing. Okay. Don't walk too many paths with any golem answers. What do you know about, um, weird guys with masks that mm. don't like this symbol? And I'll show them the symbol on my <laughs> shield. I don't know about weird people with masks not liking that particular symbol, but I know plenty of weird people with masks. You'd be amazed at how many freaking necromancers decide that let me wear a mask and a cloak. It's so original. It's really not, guys. It's really not. Yeah, I've never really understand the influence myself. Like, even those among not my kind don't freaking understand all those freaking dead morons, but eh, whatever. Yeah. Well. It's not really my problem. I just freaking zap them and move on with life. What a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem to recognize your symbol. Okay. At least if he does, he's not making any show of like, oh my gosh, you're part of, you know. <laughs> Either he's too drunk to see it, like, clearly, or he just... Doesn't know or doesn't care. Yeah. It doesn't seem to, you know, have him react in any negative or even or any sense other than yay you have a symbol <laughs> <laughs> all right well, that's all i think i need to know well uh i guess one of the last questions that i have would be did the noble mention uh if he saw anything weird or Anyone out of the ordinary? I said, if you know, Dragonfire. Mm, by the time I got to him, nah, he was more random and raving about the dragon stuff. Hmm. So, Angry clouds of mist, you know, the usual random ranting resurrected people. So, uh. He just kind of looks you up and down. Well, maybe you don't. <laughs> Should I insight this? <laughs> <laughs> He's been lying this whole time. It's up to you. <laughs> It'd be nice to not be the only person who ever uses insight in any case. Uh, I believe. Oh, I believe him, but uh, why not? Let it rip. Yep, you're pretty sure that he's not leaving any. Hmm. Well then, uh, do you know anyone who I might be able to talk to who might possibly know more on this uh, subject? If you can talk to dead people, sure. Otherwise, I think the noble and whoever invented the goddamn machine, that freaking, not goddamn, but more than damn with machine. Oh, trust me, he's also, he, no, no, I'm not going to say anything. Um, also, 
don't say anything insulting. Don't say anything insulting. Um, okay, so the Noble is also uh, back in zero, which is about, what, uh, a month's trek? Uh, so, uh, give or take, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't really seem... Uh, I don't you feel like You could probably too... purchase a teleport for my neighbor, but... I don't know. That one's especially odd for a mage. I've met a lot of them in my years, but that one... That one's especially weird. How so? I don't know. You just... You can't seem to shut up about, I made life, and frickin' my servants are great at their jobs, and blah da blah da blah I'm important in some prissy frickin' wizard. You made <laughs> life? I look at the goal. I wouldn't put that together. Hmm. Oh, I hope they're all crazy. They all claim to make life, and then you find out it's just some freaking stupid familiar. Honestly, it's just easier to lump in them all with, uh, you know, I probably shouldn't say it. Usually, never good to say anything bad about people, even if they are, uh, insane, powerful, not powerful, degenerates. But, uh, that's fine. He just uh, kind of shrugs. Thanks for your time. Alright. Have fun tracking down whatever the bubbles. Oh, was that Mitchell? He cut out? At least no, for me. He just, he just says, have fun tracking down whatever the noble's name was. Actually, do you know the noble's name? Which nope. Noble I don't remember. Either way, I'm not going to talk to him. I think, like, you know, two months going there and back. If we're lucky. But yeah, um, unless you have anything else, I'll be uh, on my way. Great. So I can get back to what I was doing. Good luck with your uh, work. And I get up and I start to leave. Alright. Good luck out there, soldier. Just kind of nods. <laughs> kind of like half holds up a cheers towards you and then just kind of goes back. Again, another useless lead. <clears throat> I mean, I guess technically maybe fire has something to do with it. So I'm not sure how helpful that might be. What do you think, Amelia? I don't know. Good insight. I'm not good at magic or tinkering. Which is something these seem to involve. Well, it's still like, you know, a third, you know, an outside perspective. I'm yeah, still not... Uh, I'm not 100% solid on what happened. What happened? Okay. So a gnome built a uh, contraption. Okay. As far as we know, as far as he said, it was working pretty well until he actually showed it. When he did, it exploded and only he survived. I That's see. That's due to dumb luck. He said that someone else was, uh, he saw someone suspicious who was there beforehand. Yeah, possibly. which is a uh, gnome in a cloak. Again, very descriptive. <laughs> I hate being a gnome. Everyone's in a fucking cloak. It's cold. Of course everyone's in a cloak. <laughs> Maybe you might have more like That's a why I hate the north. <laughs> I'm not sure if you have like a cloak. Also, you went inside, so, you know. Going inside, I don't think you'd be wearing your cloak. Well, you'd be wearing your cloak, but not your hood. Either way, yes, again. I The only real uh, thing is either go speak to Noble, hope someone else pops out and be like, oh, hey, I know something, which is very doubtful, or speak to the dead, which... <laughs> I don't know anyone who can do that, so... <laughs> I'm just looking at you. 
Alright, fine, fine, okay. All I can speak to the dead. Just watching you guys, he's just like, I'm an up perspective. You're a what? I'm an up perspective. Uh, let's hear this up perspective. Well, I am very tall. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I can see perspective downwards. <laughs> Do you have any memory about your before the incident? Who's your maker? Some Where is person. he? Where are the drugs going? <laughs> are you a drug mule? <laughs> is he hollowed out? Yes. <laughs> Actually. Do you like to eat food? Do you, like, food? do you like to eat balloons filled with uh, marijuana or black tar heroin? <laughs> oh, hold on a second. I'm back. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, what now, Amelia? You want to get your uh, golden friend fixed, I guess? Uh... I mean, there's a 30% chance that it gets fixed and it remembers why it was trying to kill us and tries to kill us. So, I don't know. How fast I mean, does this golem look? Um, it's tall, so if it really got moving, it might be able to catch you, but it's hard to tell. Like, it's able to keep up with you guys pretty easily when you're just walking around. Okay. Well, I don't... You're the one who's been, you know, having it follow us around. My honest opinion, and no offense to take... Oh, I don't really know. really care. I think he was <laughs> kind of creepy. Like some sort of hybrid between, like, a mannequin and a person. I mean, yeah... But Amelia likes creepy friends. But he's also very big and very tough. And those two things are very nice to have following you around. Unless he decides to kill you. Well, yeah. Well, that's why I want to get it to be fixed, because then we'll know for certain whether it like is going to remember and try and kill us or not. You know, that doesn't sound like the best plan, but, uh, right now I need some time to digest what I... Well, in the in the interim, you mentioned speaking with the dead. Yes. I can't do that right now, but I could tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that I sounds like a good idea. Again. But uh, where would we go? Who are we speaking to and where would we go to speak to him? I'll see if I can possibly find out which families died. If it's a rebellion, they probably been made into martyrs. Okay. The person that let you through the door just kind of, like, quietly pipes up. Well, we do have the bodies interred here in our small, small catacomb. Oh, so you know... Wait, you actually know who died? Or... Well, we know that bodies died. Wow, something that might be actually helpful. You know, Thank you. because they're the only ones that are filled with, like, lightning blasted charred holes, or are entirely boiled. That well, makes you... it kind of obvious. Do you have a, uh, uh what are they called? Not an undertaker, uh, was it mortician? No, they don't have a mortician. Uh, they do have an undertaker of sorts, but... Do you have a bed I can sleep in? She just kind of, like, looks back at the door. We have a cot, I guess. Alright, sounds good. 
I love the idea of Amelia going into a place like, hey, can I sleep here? Or, no, I'm sorry. Hey, where's a bed? I'm sleeping here. Do you have a bed? Don't worry, I just need to rest for 24 hours, then I can get my, uh, my new spell. <laughs> it's just eight, eight, eight hours. Yep. Amelia does a long five sleep. clerics where you can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> need to do it at a specific time of day or else all of the spells go frick you we're not coming until you're at that one time that's one thing i do like about fifth edition is it's not like you know 12 p.m like your color spells come back or something it's just you know they like to watch the sunrise and the sunset don't let them don't deny them that <laughs> unless you have your spells at midnight and then they don't like either of those things well they just like the um eerie darkness all, all landscape heroes. <laughs> the clock being all zeros. It's good luck. <laughs> For spells. Mm -hmm. Yep. So she points over at the the like a door across the hall and says that's where our I guess sleeping arrangements are. Alright, thanks. <laughs> I love Amelia. It's also where we keep the bodies through that area. Oh yeah. Even better. <laughs> you get to sleep with the bodies. Oh, Convenient, oh. actually. Well, actually, no, the cons are just, you know, those little uh, traits that you pull out. <laughs> <laughs> Slide you just have one. to find one that isn't occupied. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You must with your own blanket. I imagine Amelia being slid into one, and then later the family coming to view the body, then pulling it out, and Amelia just said, oh, Hey! Time already. <laughs> the daughter screams. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yep. So she follows you over to the door, pulls out a different key from the, like, one of the same pouch that she got the first key from, and then locks the door. Man, these people are fucking pushovers, huh? <laughs> They're they're also a temple. <laughs> that that is well, one yeah. of their one of their designs. Even if this one is not in the best place for that. <laughs> in we and, go. Uh, where are the bodies? She just points at a set of staircases on the other side of the room. Down there. Okay, uh, Amelia, what are you doing? Uh. I don't, it depends on what you're doing. What are you doing? I'm going to check out the bodies. All right, I'll join you for that. <laughs> oh, my God. You people are so weird. What? I mean, as so you far, ask, what are you doing? The golem just immediately chirps up, following you. Oh, shit. Oh, fair enough. You tell it to stay there so it doesn't break the stairs. <laughs> um... Is there okay. something you'd rather be doing, or do you like following me? <laughs> or do you have no opinion? It just goes and it, like, nods. Alright. Great right answer. Okay, let's go find the uh, Undertaker, I guess. Does it look like this is the sort of place a golem would fit? Um, it's gonna be a tight fit down the stairs. Why don't you stay up here and try not to break too many things? Yeah. Too many is one thing. <laughs> yeah. The room I was gonna the say. Door is a like a small, you know, effectively a barracks. It has a bunch of small like wooden cots that are all, you know, scattered around the room. They actually seem to be in like small groups rather than like nicely lined up like a military barracks, you know, would be, but. It, it, you know, it doesn't seem like anyone really cares to fix it, as well as a few, a few wooden, uh, stru you know, wooden structures with like little notches in them so that you can put stuff on them. Kind of like cubbies, I guess would probably be. I think that's what those are called. I see. And then the staircase on the other side of the room. Cozy. 
Well, it seems like there's uh, any activity for, like, uh, like the Undertaker's. Uh, there's no acolytes in this room currently. Hello? The acolyte that's been kind of showing you around the way kind of looks at you. We're all busy right now. And the Undertaker? Is probably currently busy. Is he down there? Uh, I don't remember, actually. I don't think so. What do you mean? You don't th Is he, like, in the graveyard? No, he's probably just out in the city trying to find corpses to bring back. Man of action. I like it. Okay. Well, if I, I guess... can't find any corpses, <laughs> I'll make them. Well, okay, I guess I'm just going to go down there and wait and... Well, really, I'm just going to go snooping around seeing if I can at least find the names. Like, oh, four bodies died at the festival. All right. So you walk down the, st you know, the set of stairs and about ten feet down, it stops at a landing and then kind of continues down. There is a wooden door on that landing with the word well it looks like it's supposed to say undertaker it seems to be missing a few of the letters as they've been like chunked off the door by some sort so of so all it says is undertale <laughs> it currently just says un and then a skeleton bursts through Doo -doo -doo -doo. oh my god <laughs> So you're going to rest in one of the cots for the night? Or the day, I guess, Theo? Uh, yeah. Or you're going to go find the bodies. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm I'm first going to follow Nor, and then... All right. So, there's that. And then <laughs> render myself even harder to find for the other group by sleeping in a completely different place from where I said I'd sleep. Yep. 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 So the stairs continue downward. Oh, wait, you said there's like an office, right? Or... Yeah, well, there's, there is a door on the landing about 10 feet down. That says the start start. Yeah. Well, then I it up... probably says more, but they're, they've been like chipped off. I'd like open the on door. All right, yeah, the door swings open. And there is a small room. It's only like 10 by 10, like barely bigger than like a major closet. Okay, uh, is there any papers? Uh, no. There is a desk, a chair, a bed, uh, all made of, like, kind of a northern wood that did not look like it was very well used. Uh, and a head just kind of sitting there on the desk, staring at the door. Like... An actual head or a skull? Yes, like an actual head. <laughs> Not blinking or anything, but it is an actual human head just placed on the desk looking at the door. Well, I've seen Amelia have weirder stuff, so uh, I'm just going to go over to the desk and... All right. Yep. The second you step foot in the room, the head's mouth and eyes immediately open up all the way and it starts screeching. Amelia? <laughs> yeah. You go with this type of stuff. Does it look like some kind of alarm spell? Yeah, basically. Slightly edited so it's attached to something, but it's basically an alarm spell. Y'all just keep fucking trespassing, huh? Well, it might stop screaming in ten seconds, not sure. <laughs> well, yeah, about ten seconds later it stops screeching. I don't know why I know so much about alarm spells. But also, te technically, I wasn't trespassing. I was eavesdropping. It was not illegal to be there. I just... Oh, whatever. It's not like I'm here to steal anything. Yeah. It's if you want to, there's nothing to steal. <laughs> if you want to, you should have locked his door. There, there's not a locking mechanism on the door. Well, that's too bad for him. He should buy one. <laughs> I'm, he can commission me for it. I can make some gold. But either way, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, okay, whatever. Let's see. There are four I things. There's a, a crappy chair, a crappy, a crappy bed, a crappy desk, and the head. And that is.
it. Well, is it just, you know, like a a yeah, wooden slab? Yep, yeah, it's just a wooden slab with legs. Like, How the fuck would... Does he have any documents? <laughs> <laughs> In fact, there's actually literally nothing else in like no spiders, no webs, no rats, no nothing else. Like it's been cleaned very, very carefully. Why would you have an alarm for what I mean he could be hidden in here, I don't know. In another part of the city, probably <laughs> on your way to the thing, you see a guy like an older man with a uh, long beard and a like it's very obviously a fairly large dwarf of probably ashen descent though you don't get a real good look at him with a small cart with ha which has a couple of bodies and a few other like tools shovels and a few other things just come screaming out of the one of the side streets and sprint back towards like back up the street <laughs> well, that was weird <laughs> fire 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 <laughs> yep So, that, that's what's in the room. There is nothing else. And I, uh, I said keep going towards the catacomb. All right. Yeah. You follow the stairs another 10 or so feet down and find a new room. You know it's room. It's new because someone literally still has the wooden pillars in so that the roof doesn't cave in. The stairs do continue down, but this is very obviously a brand new catacombs. <clears throat> it only goes like 15 feet back away from the staircase, but there's still a fairly like good use of space here. Mostly because they have the floor being used as well. I guess I'll uh, you know, walk in and see if there's any form of identification Mm, the floor ones at the very least, as they're like basically been entombed um, like they have they're part of the floor so they have big wood you know big stone slabs over where they're like the floor is made out of cobblestones and uh, where the bodies are have like big stone slabs that are over them so you can you know walk on them uh, have like names and the dates they died but none of them are recent when was the win? Oh, go on. Sorry. Uh, a few months ago, in December. So, and it's like April now, I think. So about a month ago. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not like a month ago. Like nearly four months ago. Okay. Oh, well, uh, Amelia, I tried to look for. Uh... Someone who died about four months ago, around the, the uh, yes. All right. Uh, festival. Yeah, these bodies seem like they were, um, at least for the ones like if you go by their date, uh, were a couple of years ago. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna look around a little bit more, and if they all all seem like a you know a year ago or whatever it was, I'm gonna head down. Yeah, the or, ones that have like you know are in the walls don't have any like markings on them so it's hard to tell when exactly they were but they are full skeletons at this point this place by the way is also kept like very very clean there are no spiders there are no webs there's very little dirt suspicious well other than the ceiling and walls but the floor at least is clean the skeletons are actually made of dirt and spiders. <laughs> mm. That's yep. a weird conspiracy theory, but I like it. Okay, next floor. Mm -hmm. All right, the bones are dirt and the spiders. <laughs> Another two feet down, and there is a uh, like this one looks like it's almost brand new, like. <laughs> It's not even completely finished. It only goes out like about 10 feet. And the floor hasn't been covered in like cobble yet. Like it still definitely still has the wooden supports in to make sure the ceiling doesn't collapse. 
Uh, but this is apparently where they keep the new bodies, as these ones, you see a bunch of bodies, uh, about five that have been kind of entombed in a similar, like, similar set of the wall, uh, that all look either wrinkled or, um, like, at least what flesh they still have, and, like, blackened, their skeletons included. Okay, again, let's look for the, you know, one, one, four months ago. Not Round. Working, but you guess that is probably the ones that don't look like they died from stab wounds. Amelia, you're good at this stuff. You should be able to identify corpses. I'm looking for charred, steamed, lightning-bolted ones, right? Yes. Oh, so probably by the... I imagine you know the, uh, you know, state of decay. Alright. Yeah, you point out the ones that literally look like they've been like steam blasted and lightning bolted. <laughs> Those ones! <laughs> there they are. There are two that might still be because their skeletons are blackened, but they're... Is that weird, like, kind of melty burned flesh? That's what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so there are five of them. Well, All now we know where, where are they are. Skeletals. It's hard to tell what they were in life. <laughs> at least at a guess, you'd guess they're probably... Beyond that is kind of hard. I, I didn't catch that last part. What? Oh, you think that they're all humans. Oh, okay. One of them was an elf. Good, fuck him. Okay. Well, uh... What should we roll to, uh... Possibly, uh, diagnose the injuries? Maybe medicine? Yeah, it would be medicine. To, you know, actually confirm the, uh... Okay, I'm gonna give Amelia the help act. Uh, yeah. Oh, God! Well, that's a good thing. Uh, the bodies are in, you know, very, very heavy decay. But yeah, they, you're pretty sure that they are. Probably they died. Human. They died from necrosis. <laughs> what? Are you sure? Yeah, look how rotted they are. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The ones that were blasted by lightning are pretty obvious. So even eleven will give you those, like those two. But the other three might have died. Someday. They appear to have rotted away. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible feat. Yeah, but what caused them to rot away? The rot. What, are you stupid? <laughs> Good question. Well, so nothing standing out, Amelia? Not really. They're really dead. If you're wondering whether or not the bodies will, like, hold up a little sign that says, I was killed in the bombing <laughs> at the winter festival. Well, no, 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 I mean, maybe, like, if, uh... <laughs> If Amelia might notice like some different type of injuries, like oh, this one's more of a flame based. Hmm. Oh, this, this one's one more of a lightning, and this one was hit by rot, and all the other ones were also hit by rot. <laughs> Not with an eleven. No. Yeah. Rot here. <laughs> Amelia Poor is old. pretty pretty certain that there were that there are two in the room that have been destroyed by some sort of lightning or fire magic, or at least lightning and fire based, you know, damage. Mm -hmm. And the number two that are more than certainly fire-based damage, the other ones are harder to tell. They might have just drowned, or they might have been... Eh. They it's were killed. Tell. I think yeah, this one was much. killed with a hammer. That's just a... That's a stone tablet. What? <laughs> I think well, it was killed by a hammer. <laughs> well, I guess now we just have to play the win game, Amelia. Yep. And I'm gonna go up and go to sleep. As you're like kind of getting getting ready to go to sleep, the golem just kind of stands there and stares at you. Hey, if anyone comes in here and tries to kill me, tell me. Okay. You are being stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey. laughs> and golem finally remembers what he's supposed to do and just chokes you in your sleep. Oh God. You are being choked. <laughs> you are being murdered by me. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> yep. In the meantime, 
Nor, what are you up to? Well, I'm just, uh, you know, heading out and probably heading back to the, uh, to the house. <laughs> and the party splits up even more. <laughs> now we're all, all separate. <laughs> Oh, with you, by the way, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely bringing rain. I was gonna, that's what I was thinking about that. Like, yeah, I'm gonna say, okay, here, rain, let's go. I'm not gonna leave you here. Like, uh, mm-hmm. see, <laughs> you just bring you around everywhere, and it's like, oh, yeah, I'm just gonna go I off. I wasn't and gonna leave thing. him with Falcon, he could have left and him, like, I knew dirt. I was gonna get myself killed, so I wasn't taking him with me. So, you could have left him with like dirt killer or something. Listen, I'm not a very good parent, all right, what do you want from me? Well, maybe like. Drop him off at like a library or something. I should like drop off at an orphanage is what I should do, but I haven't. Yeah, that's retarded. Let's find you a nice orphanage. <laughs> That'll go over well. <laughs> I know There's orphanages that totally exist in Ehrenberg because you totally went to one. Oh wait a minute, no, there aren't. Look, I'll have to fund one, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, how much does it cost to fund an orphanage? I can probably do it. A lot. A lot? Yeah. Like, uh, Here, you're already you know, funding one. It's called Z. <laughs> <laughs> he isn't funding me. <laughs> no, you are. That's fair. Yeah, uh, that's... Is a thousand gold pieces enough for an orphanage? <laughs> no. no Damn. Really. See, unless anyone decides to stop me, I'm heading back to the house. <laughs> yep. As you're passing back to the gate, you do see a, like, very haggard looking. Uh, it's like, you! Like pulling a carriage. Bless you. Who is you. arguing with the guards that he needs to get back through. The carriage has a few bodies just kind of laying in the back. The guards are not exactly happy about it, especially because they're like, top. Are up to the gate. <laughs> and I'm on top, still arguing with the carriage. Hello, Undertaker. Oh, no, what if Z is he, in the car? No, Z is not in the car. No. I, yeah, I stumbled out of that fire barely alive, but alive nonetheless. I don't know, that would be funny. That'd be... What would be hilarious is if I was in the cart, and then that's when I finally got back up. <laughs> so he's like, Are you, I need to get these people to the temple. I just, like, sit up, like, fuck off, Grim Reaper, I'm not dealing with your shit. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> just wake up, you turn your head, and all of a sudden, shovel to the face. Stay dead. <laughs> Anyway. I just wave at him. <laughs> he decides to ignore you or doesn't notice as he's still in the middle of arguing with the guard about the proper where the proper way to deal with bodies. You should have better uh, documents in <laughs> case you ever die. Someone takes your place outside of tombstones. And like they continue walk arguing. <laughs> All right. Jackasses. Okay. What's that phrase about pots and kettles and everything's <laughs> black? So, in the meantime, Rally, you finally caught up with one of the other things. Uh, you found an inn that's on fire. Oh, also a Z. Okay, cool. <laughs> Wait, what? Also a Z. Oh. Uh, how, how much time has passed? How, how long have I been sitting on the ground at this less point? Less than an hour. Less than an hour? All right. Yeah. I'm gonna it's go probably over been like sit... half an hour. Or so. I'm going to go sit That's next fine. to Z and watch the inn burn. Are yeah, people are still very sad. A few have, like, you know, gone and gotten buckets and, like, kind of given a half-hearted attempt to put it out, but it's too far at this point. So, uh, I know you're not one for doing this. What the hell happened? You know, you're right. I'm not one for doing this. I've been in more than enough burning buildings for one lifetime. <laughs> Although I guess it's been refreshed <laughs> twice now, so. We have to stop uh... meeting like this. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and burning buildings, that is, not me and you. I, yeah, I, I thought you meant me, you, and burning buildings, which me and burning buildings seem to have a lot in common. That's huh? fair. Yeah, well, not a lot in common. Yeah. You just tend to move in the same spheres, I well, would say. I, for once, it wasn't me. Can't say I'm a little disappointed, nope. but you're not wrong. Not disappointed, but the good news is, uh, the green group are saving up a lot of paperwork for me, so that's going to be a pain in the ass later. But uh, how have you been, Riley? 
Well, I've been doing a lot of running today, really getting my uh, exercise in, not skipping hashtag leg day. <laughs> I'd like you to go sit near that out of their building, thank you. <laughs> no, I, I didn't say that last time. Uh, but no, yeah, a lot of running. Um, so, uh, what have you been up to? Uh, you know, got got a hold person because the DM didn't let me roll initiative and just took turn for me like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Even though cool. I have alert, so this doesn't happen. <laughs> oh, uh, you know, went went to do some uh, investigative research. Got smited. Constructive Ooh. day. But the dog's rough. fine, so um, all's well in the world. Where's uh? Where's Rain at? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, right. uh... That's enough short resting. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Listen, I have 11 health. That's slightly more than a 6. I'll be fine. Alright. The burns oh, no. will go away in time. I don't scar very much. Alright, I'm gonna oh. look at the fire one last time. Admire it for what You'll it is. You'll see more fire in the future. Get over it. All right. And I'm going to follow Z. back in your fucking pants. <laughs> God damn. Man, Rowan must love fireplaces. <laughs> They're a nice addition to a home. I don't see why we can't have four of them. One for each wall. <laughs> oh, it doesn't... Who needs uh, a fireplace? Just have the home be the fireplace. <laughs> doesn't uh, Dirk Elsa have multiple fireplaces? <laughs> yes. <laughs> The ideal house. I like his right. house. It's not in, like, find... you know, multiple in each room, but there are multiple in the house, yes. I'll have to go find the other idiots, then. Well, I was I was tracking uh, some big, crushed footprints that I think caused lightning at a shop. There was this really drunk gnome and a bird that was really rude. <laughs> <I> think... <laughs> yeah, Brain Dead Monkey could track that. Well, I don't, know, I don't know why I'm so aggressive with that. Sorry, I, I died recently. I'm still a little bit. You're not angry. wrong. <laughs> so, all right, let's go find fucking those people then. Those two. All right. Yep, yeah, and I'll follow Z. All right. Where are you headed, Z? Uh, well, I said they're going to the noble area, right? I believe that was the case. Yeah. Over there, then. All right. Um, you know. We'll fucking ask if they've if the guards there have seen any idiots wandering around lately. And then give the physical descriptions and ask if they've <laughs> left since they came in. Uh, the guards tell you that one of them has left. However, the massive weird wooden thing and the other person that you described has not. We'll deal with that in a minute. Let's go find the one that left. Dog. <laughs> Yeah, tracking around fucking seventy-three. <laughs> Listen, man. It, it I feel like that's the the best reason for me to have this dog is Go that ahead. it allows me to fucking keep track of my idiot party members. <laughs> Unless except when I do that. You can still follow Drake, it's pretty easy. Big, so a lot of Nat ones this session. That's my uh third one. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. mostly because you have wow. seed. He knows what Drake smells like. Yep. So. Also, that that was me rolling for Sieg. But hey. yeah. Yeah, I know. But Sieg still knows what Drake smells like. Because yeah. he's been with him for nearly like a year. Yeah, <laughs> he has smelled Drake more than once. So, yep. It take, like You get lost a few times, but eventually yeah, you end up back in Drake. I guess knock on the door. <laughs> Very well, simple. What would you have done if you went back to Derek Hell's house? Do we have an hour? What? You you are back at Derek Hell's house and someone's knocking on the door. I open the door. I have a I have hey. your son. Half charred. 
several stab wounds. I am well more than half charred at this point. <laughs> I was in that burning building for a little bit. It and, wasn't uh, Drake. I know what you're thinking. It wasn't me this time. So, uh, what did you accomplish today? Uh, Grim Reaper found Grim Reaper still a little bitch, and that there was at least at least two and a half times paperwork since I went there last time, which is gonna be a pain. <laughs> oh in the ass. yeah, because it seems like I, it keeps um... stacking up every time I die. So who's who's a little bitch? Um, Falcon, who's that? Who's the little bitch? Uh, the one that you're chasing, Jibbin. Jibbin, you will know his name. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, um, Falcon and I uh, met up with a uh, um, oh, it was a really weird guy, a uh, Jibbin, I think. He told us where uh, we might find another piece of the key. And why are we still here? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for you all. You know, you didn't think that was the most important thing to tell me when you found me. <laughs> Instead, you told me I've been getting in my uh, cardio. Hashtag leg day, you <laughs> fucking idiot. I I forgot. You know, I don't... I never heard of that name before, but I would say you shouldn't trust any other thing you were... A word he says. <laughs> he sounds like a fucking snake. <laughs> well, he did... Oh! Insight. I don't know that name, but he sounds like a fucking snake. Are you sure you don't know that name? <laughs> yeah, you're pretty sure Drake knows that name. <laughs> well, he said it's, uh, there were some rumors about it a few weeks ago in, uh, what was the place? Zeox? Zior. Zior. Where, what is, how do you, how do you spell that? It's on the map. It's on the map. <laughs> it's the same as, uh, Oh, that's an R, not an X. Sorry, I need glasses. I'm actually, I'm getting glasses in the mail in like three days. Not having 20-20 vision? I do have 20-20 vision. I just, get I'm better nearsighted. vision, dumbass. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why can't I, hmm. He needs 40-40 vision. I need 40-40. <laughs> the cheat says I have 20-20, but it also says my eyes are bad. I don't understand that. <laughs> Why can't it's, it be both? Anyway. So why are you back here? What happened to, uh... The grave one? Well, uh... It turns out they don't actually know anything, or really know anything, and right now the only option is to speak with the dead. Can we just leave? Can we fucking continue on this goddamn bullshit, save the world bullshit quest? I mean, I prefer if we stay here and at least get to, to the bottom of this, but at this rate, I feel like it's a hopeless cause. Isn't everything we do that? You've described 80% of this adventure. Hey, sometimes there's, you know, payoffs, rewards. So this, it seems Wait, every... like that time you guys woke up a silver dragon? Look, that was a different thing. That was a one-off. To be fair, why would you expect a silver dragon inside a sewer? <laughs> That's like one of the last places you would look for one. In the Empire. It's like opening an oven and finding a Mimic. Yeah, I think that's the idea behind Mimics, isn't it? They're supposed to fucking... Pretend to be normal things, so that way when you open something, they then just chomp your dumbass. Oh no! It's, you know, you you put like a pie inside the oven, and it turns out just a mimic for some reason. Once are you again, just having this conversation at the front the door. Point by the point of mimics. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so, um, what, what's what are we, are we leaving or like? What are we? God, uh, I want to. You're just upset because you got your ass kicked. Oh shit, I need to wait for my armor to be done. Eh. <laughs> and uh, again, I told and you. And therefore, we're, we we never leave. I'm pretty sure both uh, Amelia and I thought that ah. was a bad idea. Oh, well, at least I did. Yeah. I can't speak for Amelia. 
well, the enchantment has another day, and the army has probably another day. So tomorrow you'll be able to pick those up. Again, yeah. I'm not sh- I'm not That's sure fun. why That's you went idea. there. I don't know. And what did you learn from going there? Uh, as a character, I know I learned a decent amount. As a player, I don't remember anything that I learned. <laughs> Because I am very tired. <laughs> you learned that there's a noble who has a bunch of. What mercs. I learned is that uh, death's still a little bitch. <laughs> Again, things are a little jumbled right now. So, you know. I, I also really learned need... that uh, charring not feel does not feel great. Again, none of those really mattered. Those are you you problems. Oh, death, death, this, death, that. For all I care, you could have met God himself. All the gods. And they could have thrown you a party. It really doesn't matter, because you're here now. And so far, it's just paperwork. Parchment. Yeah, that, that was about it. <laughs> I mean, was there anything interesting on the parchment? Probably not. You're probably just, you know, you're like, oh no, fuck that. Uh... There's a lot of stuff about signing and where I'm supposed to go in the afterlife and what's happening to my corpse. And there's a lot of me slapping shit out of his hand. Again, really life. helpful. That was real insightful. Eh. I applaud you. I give a little golf clap. Do you want to get stabbed? Because let, let me tell you something. I can stab you or I can just blow us all up. Because I've already been nuked once and I'm willing to get nuked again. It is, uh, it's fascinating how long you've survived. Eh? I've been moderately lucky. I don't even believe that covers half of it. Not probably about half. Danger has, has uh, been ramping up recently in my life since I met you idiots. Well, here, take your uh, child back. And uh, I'm just start slowly closing the door. <laughs> Are you gonna go oh, grab? We're gonna. And just sitting in. I'm gonna leave tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, to like come here, come, go, go to your. Uh, I guess at this point, a uh, foster parent. Hardly. Nope. Rain walks out with a cup of the weird barley things that you had that he somehow found. <laughs> Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to stop him. I, I have a killer headache right now in character. Alright, where, uh, where's fucking Amelia? Oh, I know. I know where Amelia is. Why am I asking that? Alright, see ya. I close the door and lock it. I like to set a bear trap outside the door. <laughs> oh, soon Dirk Hill comes home. Unfortunate for him. So, you guys headed back to the inn then? I was gonna go get fucking Amelia to try and. Oh, no, Amelia's gonna be. I don't know that character though. Fuck it, and I've, I'm done caring for today. I've been exploded yep. already. Raleigh's ready to go back. He's had a, a lot of time to think and run around so he's had his fun mm-hmm. <laughs> also he's he's gonna stick with z so z doesn't explode again well i so, typically only explode on the lawn because that's why i do the dumbest things yeah Those that's why i'm sticking ones. with you yep so you guys make it back to the the end after you know, half an hour walk or so and it seems that Serena's already back, though Logazor's oh. nowhere to be seen. Cool. I'll wave to Serena. Uh, is, is Wait, is she just, like, in the fucking lobby at a table? Yeah. Oh. Well, she's up at the bar. Oh. She seems to be chatting with the, the barkeep when, like, before you walked in. Oh, okay. I don't want to interrupt. Uh, right. Well, fuck it. Raleigh has no class. He's going to go sit down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Falcon, 
he wandered around probably a good another 20% of the city in the last few hours. At least the lower classes of the city. Okay. What's the plan now? What time is it? Uh, probably like three in the afternoon or so. Oh, that's fucking early. Yep. Um, all right. Uh, dude, fuck Jibin. At least for the day. <laughs> um, well, some things never change. I'm going to go to the more wealthy Yay. area of the city. And I'm going to try to find a nice, a very nice inn slash tavern. And see if there's anyone playing some games there. All right. Some things never change. You're going to lose some more money trying to switch. <laughs> Look, I'm just unlucky, dude. Tell me about it. Also, I'm pretty sure I've made profit on this. It's just, like, not a lot. <laughs> it's very sporadic. Because you, you make very small profits, and then you do something stupid and lose a fair amount, but you have an overall net positive, I think. If so I you're making so money, but you're doing dumb shit. If I do something stupid, you mean blow my gold buying, sh buying useless shit? Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, the tavern that you find is called the Forgotten Fist, or at least what you likely guess what it is based on the you know symbol on the sign okay and as you walk in it seems like it's not super bustling but it certainly is starting to pick up as there's like it's a fairly large tavern but there's already 10 people in it at 3 p.m mm -hmm. most people are just kind of discussing basically the goings on a couple discussing the dwarf uh cleric or just religion in general uh, a couple are that like are up at the bar are singing a drinking song together and another group of three seem to be playing some sort of guessing game from the looks of things i'm gonna kind of observe this guessing game from afar for a few minutes all right Hmm. Trying to think of the best way to phrase what it is. Uh... They're playing Guess Who. They've got two little plastic boards out. <laughs> Does he look like a bit? Yeah, I guess it's kind of like that, but it's got a little bit of charades <laughs> mixed in. Because, of course, they don't have the plastic board. So, it seems they're going kind of back and forth uh, between, like, the three. And, like, they're trying to, you know, act like something, and then the other two are trying to guess. They seem to be pretty bad at it, but they also have a small group of, like, glass and wooden mugs, like, strewn across the table. <laughs> I'm going to ask if I can get in on it, obviously. They all kind of look at each other. They seem to be not quite nobles, but certainly like higher class, like people who live in the city, maybe like higher uh, tinkerers or uh, metal workers that are fairly well off. They are just kind of like, you know, playing. They seem to be more than happy to let you in. Okay. Are they are they playing for any money? Uh, yeah, they seem to have a small pot of gold coins. And if you want to join, it seems like you need to give at least one. And of course, pick a character. Pick a character? What? Did I miss a part of this? It's guess who, but with more <laughs> charades. Oh shit! Okay, what are my choices? <laughs> Uh, people in the city. It seems like they like they're not very good describing them at this point in time, mm -hmm. but they seem to be describing. Um, one of them basically immediately gives himself away as one of the uh, major heroes, specifically the bard. You'd guess, at least from how he's like attempting to play an instrument. Uh, the other two seem to be nobles of some. 
uh, other northern city that you don't recognize. Oh, fuck, I'm shit out of luck in this game. <laughs> I don't know these people. Okay, I'll, I'll put in my one gold piece. All right. Go ahead and just roll performance, I suppose. Performance? Okay, you're being kind to me. Thank you. It's a game where you have to perform. All right. Yeah, you're able to put on a few good charades with whatever character that you've picked out. And you're able to get them to guess well enough that you are you garner a few points and are able to win at least part of the pot. So you walk away with about, like, five gold coins. Hey, making the big bucks. All right. <laughs> mm, uh, how How wealthy do these people look? They look like they're gonna continue playing even after you've taken four, five gold coins. So, <laughs> all right, are um, are they fine with me still playing? Uh, yeah, it seems like they're more than happy to let you continue. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna pull out a platinum piece and kind of just set it on the table. Yeah, that at least seems to make even their drawings click a little more, <laughs> and they at least play a little harder. Though that's not saying much. Go ahead and roll again. Okay. Fuck. Oh. Yeah. oh. You, you tried. Nope. This time, unfortunately, you're not quite as effective. And unfortunately, you lose the platinum piece. All right. Well, you know. What they yeah, remember, remember when I said you make the big plays that are stupid? Yeah, and say, you lose uh, money. Double down or nothing. I'm putting down another platinum piece. <laughs> That's not doubling. Eh, whatever. Go ahead. Well, it is actually because I had one, yeah. one times one, or one yeah. times two is one, or fucking two. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Are you drinking two? <laughs> Apparently, good lord. All right, performance. Yep, performance again. God damn it! Mm, yep. That's not oh. <laughs> this time you actually do win back your platinum piece, but only the one you played. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Luckily for you, it seemed like they got a little bit of a big head, so you were able to pull out a few more tricky moves that they weren't quite expecting. And they didn't seem to, like, all of them didn't notice, so they didn't quite catch on that you were not exactly. You're going to go doing for the triple? You you're going to risk it all? <laughs> Lose all the money? I got to be honest. I don't even know how you play Guess Who, so I'm not really sure what's happening. <laughs> This like, is like a weird like, version of Guess Who. It's not even the right You're rolling version. performance and getting money. Or that's what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, I understand that part. But... <laughs> well, that's, good. that's the part you need to understand. Basically, because they can't, you know, use little wooden boards for Guess Who, they're just playing charades, and if people guess you're what you are, then you gain points, effectively. Well, it's like that uh, one game where you have the card in your head, and you, uh, wait, no. Maybe I don't know. No, that's the opposite of this. But uh, close enough. Either way, because yeah, you know who you are. It would it would make sense that it's played in such a way where like you have multiple players and the two p. I guess I don't, I don't actually know how this would make any sense, but I guess the two the person who is charading and the person who's guessing both gets points. Uh, so you would want to guess. That would that would motivate people to guess. Look, I don't right now, can. it just works. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you can. It's um, fucking matter. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, you're not even put, playing. Putting next down the flat piece again. I'm just gonna put down the same one I picked up, or just All leave right. it there. Go ahead. All right. Not one. No. <laughs> Oof. There's Oof. A yeah. No. You end up losing that piece too. God damn. Rally, <laughs> like rally. I told you. Rally, you have 500 of my gold, right? So you're currently yes. at what? Two platinum? Wait, let me double check to make sure I haven't spent 1. it. 1.5, I actually think, because he did win five. Yes, I still have your 500 Fair gold. Enough. I haven't spent it yet. One of these all right, days, all right. I guess point five. Oh my God. God. Luck's going to turn around. I'm putting, I'm putting down <laughs> two, two platinum this, pieces. This is not, this is not healthy. Falcon. What even is a gambling addiction? I don't know. Falcon. Go this ahead. This is a sunken loss fallacy. This is they're, not. They're going to match? Yeah. Okay. I like these guys. 
the the harder I lose, then the better, the more I have to okay. put down. I mean, a ten's an average roll. Damn. <laughs> so you yeah. win back one of the two, but not both. Fuck. What? Yeah. God damn. You're so not you're, doing you're great. You are still out a platinum. All right, do of three. Your platinum do bets. three. Do yeah. three. Don't tell me what to fucking do. <laughs> now you guys are <laughs> You gotta survive to there. make up for it. <laughs> I this, know. The voices in your head are yelling at you. You spend irresponsibly, okay? Man, <laughs> man, I can't believe that you have to do 17 to make up for what you've lost. Insane. Crazy, really. Okay, well. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go again. I'm putting down two platinum pieces. <laughs> this is my last one, though. Coward. I swear, this is it. This is my last one. Hey, one of these days, one. I haven't, I haven't done in. any drinking. Yep, this is their I last one, too. Whenever. No, you haven't done any know. drinking. You've just done a lot of stupid betting. Eventually, Falcon has to win. <laughs> it's yeah, weird, right? because I haven't seen Falcon cheat at all. Don't you? Wouldn't you normally like cheat at these things? <coughs> I don't know how to gonna, cheat at this. She game. has weighted dice. I, I how don't know. Weighted dice here. Wait, how You're do you the cheat? fucking. How do you, you cheat at this game? You, you 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 say, uh, I'm this person. What you can't do You're that. You're the sneaky that's asshole. Not. <laughs> also, I like how you say that's illegal. <laughs> You're gonna get arrested. <laughs> you idiot. No, it's illegal within the rules of the game. Fair, but the way you said it's just like you can't do it. It's illegal. You're gonna get arrested. All right, arrested. All right, right here prison. it comes. Go at him. Ooh. There you go. Fine. Yep, you're able Finally. to win back three of the pieces that you currently spent. All right, so, well we're we're still in the hole, but you know what? <laughs> we'll take it. You're you're less in the hole than you were. <laughs> so, okay. and you had a win on them. Yeah, after like fifteen minutes of playing, and they've you know continued drinking, they're they're done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. At least one of them has his head down on. Two are like, not not interested in playing in it, playing anymore. Yeah, I'll take my winnings. Come on, just one more game. Thanks. Uh, thanks for letting me in. Yeah. And I'll, one I'll one of the to... two just kind of vaguely waves at you. <laughs> Whoever just looks like they're running the place, or at least could help me, and I'm gonna see if I can't get a room. All right. Uh, the bartender seems to be a fairly old female dwarf. Uh, she has kind of strange pale, pale skin that you haven't quite seen. It doesn't look ashen at first glance, but it might be. She also has gray hair, kind of. Close cut to her scalp, okay. and she is like many dwarves, kind of, kind of box shaped. <laughs> uh, the proper term is thick, Mitchell. <laughs> yep. <coughs> so she just kind of looks at you. you uh, want a room? I, yeah. Could I get a room for the night? Nine silver, one copper. It's an odd price. Okay. Nine for oh. the room, one for all the things that we do to keep it up. But... All right. You got a deal. Slide the money. She knows. You... She takes a key from underneath the counter and hand, you know, just sets it down on the counter for you. Thank has you. a little seven on it. I'm assuming my room number is seven. <laughs> it's a good guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my room. All right. It is at least clean. It's not especially like big, but like it's got one bed. Okay. It's got like a little a little uh little desk and chair. Well, desk and stool, but. Is there a lock on the door? Yeah, it has a lock on the door. All right, I'm going to lock the door. All right. Yep, it clicks. 
and I'm going to pull out my sword. All right. And I'm going to try to mess around with it like I was talking to you about earlier. First, yep. I'm just going to I'm going to double check, you know, just in case to see if I can pop it in and out. Mm, does not do it. Okay, it figure. does at least like make the candles in the room dim a little bit and the sword itself kind of like grows a little darker, but it never, it doesn't fully pop into the other dimension. Okay, well, if I can't pull it out, I'm going to see because every time you pull it out, you can pull it out in a different form, like a different type of weapon. So okay. I'm going to I'm going to see if I can make it at least like switch forms, like a short sword or a spear or stuff like that. Yep, it does do that. It instead of like kind of vanishing and reappearing as it would normally, this one literally just kind of reforges itself in your hands into whatever weapon you're doing. It takes a few moments longer, but not enough to make a real difference. It just kind of like turns into like pure darkness for a few seconds, reforms into whatever you want it to be, and then turns back into steel. As far as you can tell, anyway. All right. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's much more I can learn about it. It's still pretty early, right? Like, it's still, it's like 3.30 or 4 or something. Uh, you played with those guys for quite a while, so, yeah, it's around 4. <sighs> hmm. How long did they say my sword was going to take from the wizards? Like, a week? I don't believe it was that long. I think it, they did say it was only a couple days. Like, okay. And it's already so, been a day, so it's either tomorrow or the next. All right. Um. Yeah, I think I'll just maybe go roam around the city a little, a little bit more, just kind of get a better feel for it. Maybe. All right. Ask around a little bit about Zior, see if I can find anything out about that, anything particularly strange about it or that I should know before going there. Okay, go ahead and roll uh, Charisma to see what you can find. All right. So, uh, Zior is related to Kane and Ehrenberg in... Uh, basically like a three-city alliance between the three. Mm -hmm. So they tend to get on with each other. Uh, otherwise known as the Alliance of the Past, by the way, is what the name you kind of get. The Alliance of the what? Alliance of the Past is what the okay. the kind of name for them is. Um, It has a... One second... Uh, the current ruler is a man known as Dargo, who is the father of the person who died in Ehrenberg. Mm, you know that there are... Well, they export as well as heavily use substance like lead um, to make especially something that they call a mechanical quill you, they don't actually explain what that is unfortunately and everyone that you ask can't seem to like describe it they tell you it has to do with basically forming lead and wood into a thing to make it so that you can write with it but people don't really understand like how that works uh, they know that zero is not quite as mechanized as Ehrenberg is um that apparently it was protected by a white dragon during its... Not white dragon, a silver dragon during its found. Um, and many people still believe said dragon exists around Zior. Um, you also find out about a thing just um, kind of northeast, if you look on the map, where kind of Zior's name falls. That's mm -hmm. a little past there. And apparently there is a... Um, 
a beast that they that they straight up just call the beast of the past or beast of the past blah that apparently protects at least some people consider that consider it protecting zior from a you know, hostile orcs and uh, swagen who try and come through the pass, although it does sometimes apparently kill people who are going out that way. <laughs> um, and that there's what? actually... Do I get into a description of it? No, no one's seen it. Okay. But apparently the noble uh, Dargo in Zior, Lord, Lord Zior, Lord, La, Lord Zior, or Ziorm, La, as their last name is, has hired a some sort of wizard they think to try and figure out what it is and hopefully either like reconcile with it so that they can pass through the pass safely or like deal with it and wizards though they don't know who that is that's no beast yeah that's the majority of the interesting stuff most of the other stuff is rumors that you don't really place much faith in and if I remember correctly, all I know about Kane is that it's like, what, um, they have more artsy stuff there and stuff like that, yeah. right? Kane is, um, like Kirkwald, more of a farming community. Mm-hmm. So they have mostly like high quality, uh, high quality like wines and ales and that sort of stuff, as well as other food stuff. They do have a. Um, they're kind of one of the things they're known for is a academy uh, for uh, both bards and for chefs. Okay. Uh, they all, that's Chef. actually one of the other things that they do is they um, they export chefs that actually like know what they're doing to the other noble families as well as nobles in the empire. Shit, I'll tell Rally about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, they also export you know bards and music as well. They're also not specially well defended, although apparently they do have a very, very veteran, um, like ember dwarf, like strictly ember dwarf mercenary group known as the Volcanic Blades, uh, who have like been hired by the city for like several years and have continued like doing that. So they're they're most that's the like the majority of their arm is this mercenary group. And last before I retire for the night. Well, what what time is it? Um, by the time you kind of wander around the city and get that much, it's probably like around eight to nine, by your estimate. Okay. So you've been wandering around talking to people for like hours. All right. I'll just uh. I'll just go to rest for the night. All right. Yep. You head back to the Forgotten Fist and find. Find your room. All right. So, uh, what? Amelia went to sleep at like three. Something like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, around eleven, eight hours are up, and you can pick new spells. All right. Also, you have another yeah. person that's just kind of standing there staring at you while you're... Although this one not with the slack-jawed, like, just kind of mute expression of the golem, but of a very, very annoyed angry dwarf holding a severed head in your face when you wake up. I'm What's gonna, up? Like, pick one extra spell. Did you freaking break into my office? It was my office. Why did you break into it? I didn't really break in. I just walked in. We were I looking for... Thing. My thing activated and freaking I have to recast the freaking entire spell. I'm, I'm sorry. Walk into my office, you freaking stupid cleric. We were hey. We were looking for um you. Great, you found me. Now what do you want? Uh well we were I was just blind enough not to interrupt your rest. It's true. He 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 sat in front of me for an untold amount of time holding the head. Uh, probably seven and a half hours. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Well, uh, we were looking for some information on what happened during last 
when the explosion happened with the steam and the lightning. I think Amelia does know it was the, the winter festival. <laughs> During the last... <laughs> Big party thing! <laughs> when the last... Looks During the last hand. snow party! Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, winter shindigs. The last, the last royal... annulment? <laughs> Yeah, he just kind of continues glaring at you. Why in Morden's name would I know about that? I'm the freaking Undertaker. Why the hell would I know about freaking some noble or other people getting blown up or whatever? I uh, I don't know, but you have their bodies, don't you? Well, yeah. I had to dig out a whole new area just for them. Freaking so much extra work, and I can't even expand that anymore. Would you mind if I, uh, Annoyed. interrogated them? Go ahead. Freaking idiots had to get killed, and then I had to put stupid rotten body somewhere. Go ahead. Alright, thanks. I don't freaking care. I'm gonna go to my office. Good luck out there. Well, downstairs, but I guess. <laughs> <laughs> turns around and walks down the stairs. Now, Amelia, are you getting me before, uh, in this or now? Well, I'm guessing you're probably asleep. Or going to be asleep. It's like 11... Well, it's 11 at night or so. Yeah, that's why I asked. It. I'm trying to wait or uh, do it. Either way, do your thing. Yeah, there are um, a, few more, um, a few more of those acolytes that are wandering around the room now. All of them like kind of paused for a moment to watch the game, <laughs> but they're back to whatever they were doing before. I'm trying to think if there's any Amelia-related things I want to do. If I just want to rip it. Hold on, I have to quickly read something. She's dark and brooding. <laughs> when have I ever been dark and brooding? That's fair. Uh, I don't. Th I don't think there's anything I want to go do out on my own. Not that I would know anything about dangers about doing stuff on my own, but uh, I may. I may just like I don't know. See if there's a place to eat and grab something to eat, and then just like wait for Drake and company to come back mm, you do know that there's a tavern right by the gate is that inside or so outside the outside of the the nobles area I don't want to leave because I don't know if I I might not get back in given my appearance <laughs> uh, the acolytes seem to have like some small amount of food but it's mostly just literally bread and water or bread or something light. I can I can live with bread and water. Yeah, some of them seem to be drinking bread and water, some of them seem to be drinking like bread and ale or bread and cider. I'll go with the for now the just the bread and water. Yep. One of the yeah, one of the acolytes runs off to go grab you that. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Nod and run off to go do that. Oh. <laughs> so you, uh. I guess, uh, actually, uh, I'm gonna go down to the, um. The interner, whatever, Undertaker. Yeah. Hey. Do you, uh. Do you keep any extra corpses around here that you you don't need? Yeah, he seems to be fiddling with the uh, the skull, or not the skull, but that that human head that he has on the desk. Uh, he just kind of looks over at you. Mm, I got a few up in the cart right now, but I haven't really had the chance to bring them down yet. If you want to bring them down, be my guest. Oh, you just have to throw them at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, alright. 
This is a <laughs> this isn't why I came here, but I guess I'll go do that. <laughs> I don't think he'll notice if one was missing. <laughs> right. It's supposed to be his job. But again, he's probably shit at his job. <laughs> Wouldn't be that bad if one body went missing. And he's just now walking around. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So you're gonna go upstairs and see if you can't find his cart? Yeah. Alright. Yep. Locate <laughs> object. <laughs> cart. With eyes. <laughs> yep. You find the find the cart just kind of parked on the like kind of side. Um yeah, it has it, you know it has basic some basic tools in there, shovel, a spade, a couple of other. Um, it actually has a pick and a few other kind of stranger ones, uh, like you know that, as well as a few things for dealing with, like removing aspects of bodies so that they can decompose better mm -hmm. or be more useful to society, etc. Uh, and there are a pair of bodies lying in the carriage, not wrapped up or anything. Just one of them, like even has their feet just laying out of the carriage in the mud. I'm gonna take a moment to look at their faces. All right. Uh, they both appear to be human, um, at least at first glance. Although you know one is significantly taller than the other. Uh, the taller one seems to be a uh, human male of some sort. He's pretty plain. He seems to have died of at least from like a quick glance out in the dark. Uh, some sort of several stab wounds. From something, mm -hmm. I'm not sure whether or not it was an altercation, you know, altercation with the guards or an altercation with the mugger. It's impossible. To tell. Wait a minute. Quick, like, I was quick question. Amelia killed two people, or yeah, Drake. These, or these someone? are different two people. Okay. Oh, okay. I was, I was. It was a group effort, really. I was gonna ask if, like, the how how the two people we killed died, but I I guess these well, aren't. Those, those, those uh, stab are, those are wounds, people. bite wounds. <laughs> Electricity. Yeah, you, and you that know if they were one of those. <laughs> okay. You see an arrow embedded in a, in one of them that says nope, Z on no the arrows. Side. Yep, no arrows. Uh, we were, the other we one seems range, to be so I was stabbing them instead. Uh, <laughs> the other true. one seems to be a um, a significantly younger woman than the the other the other body. Um, though she seems to be. It's actually hard to tell. You don't see any obvious. Uh, though this person is, you know, clearly very dead. Okay. You'd guess it's probably something to do with either electricity or... Um, Perhaps I do with the strangle marks, right? Zombies. 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 Yeah. It's zombies. Some, something that leaves not very many, like, obvious marks. Please, for love of God, don't just start dark. making everything to zombies. <laughs> well, I, I want to... I wanted to ask him permission to make them into zombies. I don't want to just... Also, also, I think he can count to two, so he might notice if one of these two people are missing. Getty! <laughs> he can at least cast a spell, so. Well, Kenny! Yes? Alright. Are you stupid? <laughs> Just throw one down and be like, hey, can I keep this one? <laughs> um... Takes one of those stab wounds. It has character. <laughs> I, I'm actually I'm debating which one I want to figure out how how it died. Uh, hey, you just do both. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, I am allowed to use higher level spell slots to cast lower level spells, right? Yep. It just won't have an additional effect unless it's supposed to. All right. Oh, damn. All right. All right, which one are you going to poke? I'm going to go with the woman. All right. So, yeah. Uh, her eyes immediately flick open, and she just kind of, like, looks up at you. Uh, my five questions are, how did you die? Who killed you? <laughs> uh, All the stuff shouldn't <laughs> <laughs> Why not? No, I see. Like, how did you die, and then go from there? Well, I mean, I guess I. 
We'll we'll start with those two. What if she right. hasn't been killed? Or she's had like a brain in your <laughs> Well then you. bad uh, I don't even think anything really causes brain in your actually. Brain. I mean it might <laughs> just be I I what don't know. Killed you. Heart disease. <laughs> Who killed you? Bad dietary oh, choices. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. She just answers magic and then just kind of continues staring at you. Uh is that ma magic is that magic for how you died or uh who killed you? Yes. She's gonna answer them in order, so Oh okay. So how did you die, magic? Who killed you? The it's a big fucking brontosaurus. <laughs> it has magic powers. <laughs> it's a strong brontosaurus. It's been alive for a long time. Yeah. Uh she answers a man with a wolf's head. Um, where was uh, those people we met in the forest? Were either of them? There was like a. Was there a wolf? Wolf associated man? Am I? Am I insane? I don't remember. Probably. It's been a while since then. So. Okay. Like they were also pretty. They are. They were also like really far away, weren't they? From here. Uh, yeah. Like wicked far. Okay. They're from before Kirkwald. Yeah. Uh. If it the, was the, people, they're migrating this time of season. This might be two questions, but the street and address where you died. You could just go with the location. Well, the the location, but that might just be like my house, and then you know. <laughs> Street and what was the other one? Address. Address. Would ad address, address like cover the street? Yeah. She okay. Just answers like, outside Aaron. Oh. Because the street and Aaron address does not have a not address. Here. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Latitude and longitude. <laughs> uh. Five, three, seven, nine. Yeah, you sense that she she guessed that that was one, or at least she takes it as one question. Okay. Uh, outside Ehrenberg, and so there's someone outside Ehrenberg who has a wolf's head who's killing people randomly with magic. magic. Yeah. <laughs> I know we've got something to look forward to when we start traveling. <laughs> uh, is this city Ehrenberg? Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, okay. Just want to make sure. You got two um. You want to join my undead army? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. Aww. Uh. <laughs> do you, How do, do you feel about being undead? Do you have any. Uh. uh where is your. Do you have any last wishes? <laughs> oh. I want to be alive. Fuck. How thoughtful. Mm, well, everyone wants to be alive, but it's not really a last wish. That's my last wish. It's a continuous wish. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, if it's continuous, it's by definition going to be your last one. Hmm. It's there from the beginning to the end, which makes it the last. And the first. Um, I think, yeah. This one, she's actually kind of more evasive. Um, and tells, says something along the lines. Um, a gift for... A gift from my love. All right. I've got one more question. So you want me to shack up with your love? Got it. <laughs> uh, this is evasive, which means this last one might not do anything. But where is your love? And the corpse looks over at the other. <laughs> 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 that would be good. I mean, if he just oh well, oh right. I don't have the one that's the day. It's a minute. Yeah, she's still somewhat evasive, but she does at least give you outside of. 
Outside of what? Outside of Ehrenberg. All right. Oh. That's that wolf head bitch. All right. Uh, and I guess I'll put them the corpses wherever the guy asked the corpses to be put. All right. Throw them down the stairs. <laughs> he did specifically say the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> yeah, throw them to the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. I will uh, gently move them to the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> Into right. a child's grave. Oh, can I have <laughs> Yep. At the bottom of the stairs, like, the stairs just literally end at a dirt wall. Like, it hasn't been completed about, like, five foot more <laughs> five feet down from where, the you know, the second one you went into, where the corpses are. And there's already two bodies that are just wrapped up and sitting there. Stacked like cordwood. Are those the two people we killed? You don't know the wrapped up. Unwrap them. Take a peek. No, like I won't. I won't. Uh, I guess I'll go Here back to the, the gentleman. <laughs> Alright. At this point, he seems to be finished with whatever he was doing and just has, has his feet kicked up onto the table. And the skull goes off. I mean, head. If you step into the room, yes. <laughs> I will. Oh, I will so stand cool. on the edge. <laughs> you like lean slightly too far for. Oh no. Yeah. He has a uh, small sheaf of like leather that he's like just kind of flipping through. Like you know the flip, like a flip book where they're all like you know stack of papers that are like stapled together. Mm -hmm. Is that sort of thing, but instead of it being paper, they're like just strips of like animal leather that have been like stapled together somehow. He seems to just be like kind of flipping through them. Hey, so he this kind of looks three, over. Yeah, boy. <laughs> what do you know about those two people that died or that I just moved? They died. You know they're. <laughs> Do you know their names or anything? He doesn't give a fuck. Wait, I well, have no reason to remember their name. I just... I don't do like that guy. Do you know who would? Uh, Am I assume. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, some of the accolades, maybe? I don't really pay attention. Sometimes people come to ask for bodies to be moved up and then given ceremonies or resurrected or burned at a stake or whatever you want to do with it. Also, Mitchell, are you implying that they wouldn't know their own names? What, do the you... bodies? No, he's just, yeah. he's, he just doesn't care. Yeah. The bodies uh, have other names if they remember them, yeah. Do you have a section for bodies that you just kind of don't care what happens to them? Well, I don't care about the stupid freaking bodies that decide to get blown up, but other people apparently do, so I haven't let anyone in to touch those yet. Uh. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> um... But I just mean in general, like, there's no kind of, the, the, you don't have a section of bodies that you like, unclaimed that no one really cares about. Oh, you mean those bodies? Yeah. Oh, oh one second, he just kicks off the table and just, you know, moves, swings himself down to the floor. That's depressing. Oh, so you're one of them types. Oh, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I, I get you. Let Just come with me. Wow. He just walks oh, up, boy. you know, walks back upstairs and goes, like, outside. And then around back of the place and then just hands you a shovel. <laughs> and points <laughs> it like a small dirt heap. That's <laughs> where I put all the bodies that I don't want. No one seems to care about. Okay. Have fun. Thanks. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And a digging we go. <laughs> so my night is probably spent digging and and finding bodies. Yep. And animating a body. All right. You do find about uh 
five or six down there. It's hard to tell because one of them is like half, so you're trying to figure out whether or not it's like <laughs> this is it's five or six. Or lower half. <laughs> In this case, it's the upper half. Hey, that's so usable. Yeah. Use every part of the body. Yep. The other five, um, three of them are Ashen Dwarves uh, that don't have any obvious wounds on them. They're also more recent. Uh, the one that has been chopped in half seems to be a human from your guess, but it isn't like in, almost entirely skeletal. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one seems to be a gnome, you'd guess? It might be a halfling. It's kind of hard to tell since the body's like face is missing okay like something decided that it wanted to eat the thing's face and decided to remove it and the rest of the body is kind of hard to tell um mostly because it's covered in similar you know injuries so the only one the only one that's like skeletal is the half one right yep darn that's fine i can deal with i well, can deal with you um Start scraping. <laughs> That's true. That's dark. Does it not give you the option when you're summoning them? Uh, because I know three point five. If you point at yeah. a body that's so fleshy, it just is like, okay, I'll become a. Scraper. It it doesn't it doesn't give me the option. You either you choose a, uh you choose bones or a bot like a body and. Well, that's lame. And it uh, becomes a skeleton you know, or zombie, no, respectively. Gonna, yeah, no, I'm going to say that you can choose. Okay. Well, yeah, the, you're just choosing the pile of bones inside of the body. Easy. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> that's, that's basically what a skeleton is. just a fucking pile of bones. And how many ashen dwarves were there? There are three. They all seem to have similar injuries, a.k.a. you can't tell what they were injured by, but they're all, right. all dead, and they don't have obvious, like, you know, stab wounds or anything. Perfect. I'm casting it at 4th level. Yee. To resurrect 3. Alright. As, I'm guessing, 3 skeletons? As 3 skeletons, yeah. Alright. You now have 3 dwarven skeletons as they freaking tear themselves out of their normal corpses. Oh god. <laughs> Leaving 3 little piles of gold around. <laughs> I'm gonna have them move their flesh back into the the uh, grave and rebury everything. <laughs> all right, they do it pretty quick. In fact, all three of them seem pretty competent diggers, at least for skeletons. Yay! Hmm. They're dwarves. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a surprise. <laughs> hmm. Um, and and yeah, so that's. Yep. What I'm point, doing. Yeah, you've spent the night doing that. <laughs> it took you a while to get all the bodies. So it's Jesus. like nearly six in the morning. I love Amelia. And just Yep. Her her like agenda is amazing. <laughs> oh I'm glad you think I have an agenda because I I'm just <laughs> I mean, <laughs> your agenda is literally dead bodies. We'll do a magic on them. You figured out, hey, you ended up doing it, so <laughs> there you go. One way or another, you'll figure it out, even if it's not your intention initially. All right. So what are you going to be doing until someone else shows up to tell you what to do? Uh, I don't <laughs> know. Skeletons are just standing here now wondering what they're supposed to be doing. Maybe make, one of them is like attempting to pick its nose, but of course it doesn't really have a nose to pick, so it's just make them dance, rubbing in the air in front of its face. I'm not a it's fucking a monster, monster, nor. <laughs> <laughs> Must make a lot of noise when they dance. <laughs> clickety clackety clickety clack. And a one and a two. I suppose they won't help me identify the scroll, will they? I really, really bad at reading, let alone identifying. Uh, hmm. I don't suppose this place has like a stockpile of discarded equipment found on bodies. Uh, no, they actually don't. 
Okay. At least not that you've seen. And it's pretty clear that the Undertaker is not especially well off. So. <laughs> His four items. <laughs> I will, uh, do it. Does, does the Noble Zone have, like, I don't know, stores? No. Okay. Uh, then I'm just gonna hang out until until Nora arrives. Just in the back of the temple with force with three skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might, I might make this. Well, here, here's what you do: you all sit down and pretend like you're playing cards. I don't. <laughs> fish Go fish. Uh, what I might do is like. Re- uh, make the skeletons stay there and try and get our our golem friend to follow me outside without breaking anything. And then from there, just feebly attempt to converse with it. (laughs) Alright. So you just march the skeletons in, or are you going to get the golem and bring it to the skeletons? I'm gonna... I... Something... uh, Even though this seems like a pretty relaxed place. I'm not gonna bring skeletons into it, just just in case. I'm pretty sure the acolytes might not be so happy <laughs> having a small group of skeletons all of a sudden barge there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're able to get him outside without overly damaging the room. Alright. He does, like, kick one of the cots over to, like, one of the very unhappy now on the floor <laughs> acolytes. <laughs> but <laughs> otherwise, you're good. The golem doesn't care. So. Yeah. And then we wait. Yep. He does not converse very well. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Yeah. The most you get out of him is three words at a time. And most of the time, they're very, very pointing out the obvious. <laughs> like, literally, when you walk outside... He just sees the skeletons. He's like, them skeletons. You're like, yeah, those are. <laughs> sure are, buddy. <laughs> Please I can see those skeletons from a different you. perspective. Because <laughs> I am tall. <laughs> yeah. Those right. skeletons sure are bony. <laughs> yep. So, in the meantime, what are the rest of you doing? Uh, I was going to chat it up with well I don't need to say it <laughs> the only NPC I ever interact with I was going to other add than Rain so, I was other than Rain okay I do so love Rain okay you're right yep. alright yeah I, I was just going to chat it up with Serena yep but other than that about, about what she's been up to which apparently oh, cool. is not much. Well, I At do least the same. As far as I'm, you can tell, <laughs> I'm still very well. With, with not much is I take it with a grain stealing. of salt because I know her. A lot of stealing. I'm very interested in what she has to say, but I'd be more interested if she, if she told me about her fun adventures being a thief. But I don't know if she wants to do that. Yeah, no, she's not outwardly giving you that information. I love, I love, it's so interesting, though. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yep, at some point in the th- night, of course, Logazor um, asks where I do th- Dokken is, and then just goes up to the room. Okay. I am going to uh, tell There's her that at one point, cares. when we're alone, obviously, and not, like, in public, be like, hey, I like your thief stories. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I based Raleigh's a big dumbass, so he is going to say that to her at some point. Uh, in private, of course. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, she lets you in on at least one of the things that she's currently busy doing, but it's not that, that exciting. Oh. Mostly because Aaron Berg is a little bit risky to start operating in right now. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, there's a fucking civil war going on. Yeah. Nah. So, she's trying to set something up in uh, in Kane, but it's not quite happened yet. Ah. 
Oh, I do let her know that there's a possibility that we're going to be going to uh, Zior as well. I or not a hundred percent yet, but <laughs> that might be our next destination. We're not a hundred percent yet. You mean like literally every decision we've ever made? Yeah. Well, I was gonna wait for us to go out of Ehrenberg, use the little fucking robot thing, whatever the fuck it is, and uh, then see from there. Yep. To confirm the rumor, but yep, that's that's, that's all I do really. That. So, are you guys gonna go grab Nora and then grab an Amelia? What time is it? Um. Well, if it's when Rowley wakes up, it's around. Well, I guess when did you guys go? To... Probably not long after I came back. I I uh, did not survive an explosion earlier, so I'm kind of tired. <laughs> yeah, I probably yeah. Ch- chatted and hung out for a bit mm-hmm. down below. Maybe maybe drink something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> uh, but probably head to bed normal time. Not too late. Yeah. So I'm guessing you guys get up at like six or so. That sounds about right. Yeah. Six yeah, or the seven. The sun isn't up until closer to seven. So you might like get up and start, you know, cleaning armor, preparing spells, and whatnot. Well, I have to actually. Get- I have no armor to clean. <laughs> if needs, so. Who needs to clean their armor once true. everyone else is away? Sure, the, the flame sword can't be cleaned, but the other one definitely can. <laughs> <laughs> I try to clean the flame sword. I, I've Nothing. already done that it, twice it in the four hours the, I've been awake. Accidentally burned the rag. <laughs> I love that. That's delightful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, in time, where does Drake and Falcon do? There I love how everyone is in different fucking areas. <laughs> Yeah. How do we do this? Z and Raleigh, the only two party members in the same fucking inn. I can't believe you're just leaving the dog. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, the dog and Rain and Serena and Logazor are with us too. Yeah. But like, active party members who are players. Z and the dog are the same person. They're always in the same place. No, it's That's the fair. dog. The dog's obviously the better part. The dog doesn't roll as terribly as frequently. All right, Drake, progress is made. So, what what are you up to? Going to go chase down Amelia so you can ask questions. All right. Uh, and talking. When you get up for the day, what are you doing? I need to find Rowley. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Want to get up early and then go and find the inn that they were staying in, or? I mean, I went to bed real early, so yeah. All right. So yeah, you you arrive at the end before they they leave, so you can link up. Hey, what's uh, up, Falcon? Yeah. Hey, what are your plans for today? Hmm. You know, I was thinking, uh, maybe a, a nice walk on the beach, view the sunset. There aren't any beaches around here. Oh, damn. Okay, um, well, you you want to go see if my sword is ready with me, or do you just want to give me the money? I would love to. I need to check out my armor as well at some point, so. Yeah, we can do that. I need to buy uh, a mask as well. Cool. Another one. Yeah, sounds good to me. All right, see. Um, we'll be Bye. back here. You know what? I Fuck guess, it. What do what you want. I'll find you eventually. All right. Cool. So I have to, <laughs> have to go find Bye. you. Fucking. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. This and is the actually where we're gonna. More. Yeah, this is where we're gonna end up. Uh. All right. So that's that's all for this session. Yep. Wow, what a what an interesting session this has been, huh? Oh man, splitting the party takes so much goddamn time. Yeah, dude. I mean, I don't know about you. My session was nice and relaxing. <laughs> I just I, Rolly just ran around and looked at stuff all day. Yeah, I just I got, fucking didn't do shit. I got I to experience I the to city. I, got I, I found mission. out a lot of information. Good session. Feeling good. I got to look at a fire. What is he doing? 
Uh, I'm hanging out to go find fucking Amelia. Okay, so you're going to head. Go find Amelia. Yeah. Amelia is currently doing the Fortnite dance with some skeletons and a giant. Die. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's actually really smart, putting it there. I won't remember everyone. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it, it's actually rough. only going to be two groups. And where is Rain going? Rain is going with me. <laughs> oh! And of course, Bork is going with you as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I will uh, see you all next week. All righty. Um, I'm sick. Is coming back to me. No. Back. I blame Norris. Right. I hope. <laughs> or Norm, Sorry. <laughs> all right. I hope I get better next week, but yeah. I have returned. Okay. You know, the fun thing is, I live with many people, and I am one the only one to uh, take out the dog frequently. Take and I'm also quilt. the one who spends, out, uh, spends the least time with that fucking dog. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to jump off myself. I am as well. Good night. Good night. Good night, good luck, and don't die.